What the fuck? My streaming software just logged itself out. Um, if you still see a blank screen, refresh your tab, refresh your tab. I don't know what happened there. This studio has been uh, fucking up recently. Anyway, anyway, I need to be facing this way because my mic is here. Um, as I was saying, <laughs> when I initially started streaming, I did a lot of art streams. Hi, Issa, welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Um, dude, that was wild. I don't understand why it logged out. Anyway, so I haven't done an art stream in a long ass time. The closest thing to it would be like the calligraphy streams, but those aren't necessarily like art. Anyway, the meat of today's show. We're going to be working on painting my new background. So as I said, <laughs> procrastinating, Lamau same. Anyway, so what we're going to be doing, we're not painting the wall. Even though my parents own the house, we're not painting the wall. Because <laughs> like, if you paint the wall, you can't really go back on it, you know? So, big brain, you guys know what I did? So I'm going to be painting butcher paper that we're going to attach to the wall. And how are we going to do that? Okay, if you look here, see that black dot? I had, I stuck Velcro to the wall. <laughs> I know, yes, it may peel off the paint, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. So we have Velcro here, here, it's out of frame, and then down on the bottom as well. So I had to do measuring and shade last night. But I measured out butcher paper. That fits perfectly here. I'm not going to attach it because it's a pain in the ass to take out. So see, look. I know it looks cropped here, like it ends here. But usually with the regular gaming cam, it'll be perfectly in frame. So it will appear that we have wallpaper up. Ain't that cool? So, that's what we're doing today. We're painting these big ass sheets of butcher paper. Um, I can actually keep this one here. So we're going to start on this one. And the whole point of using butcher paper in the Velcro is so I can change up the background occasionally. So once I have um, a few backgrounds made, I'll have a channel point redemption to be changed my background. And then I'll swap it out for another wallpaper. So that's the plan. That is the plan. Um, oh yeah. So if you saw on my Twitter or my TikTok, exclamation Twitter in chat, I made some stencils. Okay, also we're painting today, so my clothes are inside out. That's just how it's gonna be. Nobody give me shit for it. Um. Oh, fucking group of camera. Okay, we're fine. I made some stencils. If you guys don't know, I'm in art school. So, this one. I thought this one was cute. You see how it's like little hearts that I made a tile print? Oh, dude, I'm gonna save my favorite for last. I made this one. It's kind of like little irises or lilies. Oh, they look more like lilies, I guess. I made this one. Kind of like cobblestone-y, pebbly, I guess. And then this one is my favorite. It's little um, heart-shaped cherries. I think they're cute. So the plan is simple. <laughs> Um, since I made the stencils, we're essentially going to do like a tile print, like traditional, like traditional like wallpaper is, where it's just like a pattern repeated, it's tile. So what we're going to do is we're going to pencil in one at a time and then paint all at once because like for stencils, let's actually go to art cam. With stencils, you can like dab on paint and remove the, oh dude, the white balance is fuck. Sorry. <laughs> Um, what you can do is you can like put the stencil down and like brush paint on or like use a sponge. Okay, I'm gonna lower my light real quick. You don't need this light on. Anyway, so with stencils you're supposed to like put paint on and then um, remove the stencil but I find that technique you don't get as clean of a line. So I think it'll be better if I just pencil in everything first and then paint. So that is what we're going to do. Um, as you can see here, up top, um, since it's an art stream, I'm not necessarily going to be talking as much. I will try, like, if chat has questions or if you guys want to talk, like, go for it. Um, the reason why we don't have chat on screen for this scene is because since we're doing art, my computer is here and my desk is here. So I'm not necessarily going to be looking at chat to moderate the whole time. So in case anybody says anything bad, it won't be on screen. So that's essentially what it's going to be. 
Um, yeah, you guys ready? You ready? Oh, also, my drink today is strawberry milk. It's whole milk with strawberry puree. It's wild because, like, the strawberries weren't super sweet because it's unsweetened. So, the strawberries were kind of sour. So, it makes the milk taste sour, unfortunately. Anyway, let's get to it. Um, I think I want to do the cherry one first. But I like all of these. Uh, I'll do the cherry one first. Okay. Also, if audio is like, like if you want me to increase or decrease the background music, I can gladly do that for you. Because I did audio test earlier, but like sometimes I'm like, did they actually work? Okay. So I'm gonna do these off-centered a little bit. Yeah, Cherry. Um, what's nice about doing the wallpaper like this is since it's fairly far away from my normal camera, you won't necessarily see my pencil lines. So I don't have to go back and erase later. Okay, white balance is totally fucked. I hate this. <laughs> Cause I don't think I can manually change the white balance for the camera. Cause it, this is my um, phone camera up here. So you know, this is just an extra stream. It's not a planned one, so with an extra for chat. I'm thinking about if I want to do the cherries, like. Red? Have you guys ever had, like, Mount Rainier cherries? It's the one with the yellow. They're, like, yellow and red. I find they're a little bit sweeter than regular cherries. At least we can see what you're doing. Yep, yep. <laughs> imagine, imagine if I only had, like, the normal camera, this one set up. You guys wouldn't see shit. <laughs> I am so happy that I got my um, second cam set up. Like, it's just screen capping my phone screen. Which is fine, it's tight, but um, I don't want to buy another DSL DSLR just yet, you know what I mean? The only downside of using the phone camera is like, I have to have my phone on do not disturb mode. So like, if my parents are like dying, I wouldn't know. <laughs> ah! Hopefully they're fine. Hey, I don't know about y'all, but I usually have, like, headsets on all the time. So my parents will be, like, dead ass screaming for me and I can't hear them. Oh, also, you guys notice these headsets are Bluetooth. I had no idea they were Bluetooth. And they're also noise canceling. Holy shit. Because I was getting super annoyed because, like, the cable is only, like, maybe a, a foot and a half long. So you'd be, like, tethered to your computer, right? But then I was looking at it, I was like, oh my god, these are actually Bluetooth, holy shit. <laughs> and I've had these headsets for like two months now. Usually, like, whenever I get new tech, um, I will, like, explore all the settings and, like, see what it can do, right? But for these headsets, I was like, eh, it don't matter, I'll just use them and not give a shit. But now that they're Bluetooth, and, like, the battery lasts for, like, six hours. It was crazy. So I used it all day yesterday, essentially. Maybe we can try turn off the main bedroom lights. Because I get a lot of natural light in my bedroom, which is really nice. Because if the focus is supposed to be the phone cam, we can fix that. Okay. Oh, dude, that is so washed out. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can turn off my light and fix this. <laughs> We're working in the dark now. I feel like that's a little bit better. Like a little bit. Dude, I should have had the DSLR here and then phone cam on me. That's what I should have done. Sag. Anyway, okay. So now we're going on to the next one. Yeah, the white balance is still fucked. Anyway, so the whole point of a tile pattern is you can see, faintly, <laughs> the first two tiles here. And in order to make your tile like line up properly, 
you're gonna want to make sure your first tile overlaps with the first the one here that way everything is spaced correctly there we go that way when you're moving across your page everything is spaced evenly it's a little pro tip Yeah, I don't know how long this stream is going to be, but my goal was to get at least one done today. That way I can show chat tomorrow and be like, hey, I actually did something. I know I've been saying I was going to paint this, what, a month ago? And then haven't, Lamau? But here it is, plot twist. <laughs> it feels so weird to, like, turn my head over and look at chat. I know that's how a lot of like streamers have their chat set up, especially if they have like a dual monitor set up, but I don't. Because I find it weird. Low-key cringe. If the streamer is looking over at chat every 30 seconds to see there's not a new message. <laughs> okay, not to grill people with slow chats. I'm a Humegalo streamer, so like I don't have a very active chat either, which is fine. I don't care. I, d I don't expect people to chat because I know it's a it's like emotionally taxing for some people. Like I myself. I enjoy lurking a lot. But I think it's funny to like see them look over and see nothing new. <laughs> Kinda mean, but I think it's funny. Okay. We have another tile done. Same thing as earlier. We're gonna line up our tile. Look at that, perfect. It's gonna take a long ass time to fill this whole sheet, huh? Oh, dude, I was wondering, okay, you know when you go to, like, the store and you see, like, the ceramics with the floral print and they literally all look the same? I was wondering, how the fuck do they do that? That's crazy. But I saw this video on TikTok. <laughs> like, because for some somehow I got on, like, the how, t how it's made. Like, that type of TikToks. Um, but they essentially, it's a machine where it has, like, a thing will dispense the ink, the pattern. And then a sponge will come down and press on it. And then the sponge will go down and press into the ceramic bowl. It's kind of crazy how they do it. I thought it was cool. It's kind of like, it's it's very similar to like hydro dipping, if you know what that is. Bruh, this is going to take a fucking long ass time. Anyway, anyway. Another reason why I didn't want to do the sponge technique is that my stencil will get very dirty. And since this is a paper stencil, I could have used, like, plastic, but I honestly don't have many plastic sheets available for stencils, so I did paper this time. But if you use a paper stencil with paint, it's gonna get, like, icky and soggy. And I didn't want to print, like, 20 of these. I feel like that's a little bit wasteful. Okay. Got four done. But, but we're... Uh, I cannot talk. Anyway, the main reason why I decided to just pencil in and then paint over was so I have a little bit more control. I mean, with sponges, you can get, like, a very different technique. And also, I realized we don't have any, like, sponges in the house. Specifically for painting, mind you. Because I wanted to, like, buy some off of Amazon. Not sponsored, Lamau. Um... But I couldn't find one that I liked. I don't necessarily want to do art streams more often. But there's a train. But I think occasionally would be cool. Like maybe every other week. We like paint a new background. Oh, I was gonna say. If anybody has suggestions for like what type of background or like what tile prints they would like to see, feel free and type them in chat because you guys are going to get freebies today. But in the future, I'm going to have a channel for redemption to like suggest a new background because like I think it'd be cute because I definitely like the theme of fruit, but I feel like that's a little bit basic, you know, because I was going to make like a lemon or like a lemonade tile and I thought that would be cute. But I feel like everybody like, uses the fruit aesthetic. I think another pattern I want to do, I want to do, like, geometric stuff. Like, create my own, like, geometric tiles or patterns. Because I know I, myself, my own art style, I like geometric stuff a lot.
I used to hate mechanical pencils. I'm using a mechanical pencil. Oh, it's not even on screen. Sorry, guys. It's all the acne prints. <laughs> Lobo. Um. Oh, I can show you my sketchbook later. Animal. Oh, it's like acne. I, I see what you meant, Animal Crossing. <laughs> yeah, I think. Ooh, I was thinking. Like, what if I did like little icons of all the little Animal Crossing characters? Wouldn't that be cute? I feel like that would be cute. Let me actually go grab my sketchbook. Oh, fuck. I didn't finish eating my breakfast. God damn it. I mean, shoot. Shoot. <laughs> I had eggs and rice for breakfast. And cheese. But I was sketching out, like, concepts and ideas the other night. <laughs> Yeah, you can see it. So, stream background ideas. If you can't read cursive, go to school. <laughs> um, I have fruits, so like apples, oranges, strawberries, lemons. A Mario theme, so like the items, power-ups, I thought that would be cute. Like, you know like the retro Mario stages where it's like the 2D platformers? I think that would be cute. Um, floral pattern, similar to this one, this would be a floral pattern, technically. What kind of rice? Um, it's just regular white rice. Cause like what I'll do is I'll make like a big ass pot of rice and then freeze it. That way I have like little portions already for breakfast. Um, just regular white rice. And then like geometric shapes. So like if you look through here, let me bring it a bit closer. So like usually when you're when you're like drawing and concepting out ideas, it's gonna be like loose sketches. Kind of like this one. This is the one that formed like the heart pattern. Because I initially did like tear shapes. Like you can see here the outer lines. But then I was like, wait, hard to be cute. Um, I like this one right here on the bottom. Like this kind of like wavy with the larger, small, and the large circles. I thought that'd be cute to do. Yeah, I think doing Mario Kart items would be fun to do as well. Like maybe do like like item box squares and then have the power ups inside. I think that, that would actually be a really cute tile. Cause like, you know how like the item boxes are kind of like a rainbow chromey look? I think that'd be cute. Um, okay, when you guys are doing like sketches, as you can see, like if you look at the page, like I'll draw boxes around certain items that I like. The reason why people will do that with concept art is so if you look at a page, right? The first thing you will see is like the darkest color. So down here, you're, you're immediately going to be drawn to that. And then also you're going to look at the things that are boxed around. So if you guys are doing like concept art, um, and like you're showing it to somebody else, you're gonna want to like highlight essentially the things you like the most, Just, like box and then shade and things you like. <laughs> Someone throwing fireballs behind him. Oh my god, I don't want to promote that in my background, so let's not do that. <laughs> okay, back to work. Back to work. No more dilly dallying. Okay, so we're near the end of the first row. I want to save up and buy, like, another DSLR. Because I could have a two cam setup, because I do have two capture cards. But... A nice DSLR usually starts at, like, 300. So... That'll be our new dono, guys. That'll be our new dono goal, guys. Lamau. <laughs> okay, so we have the first row done. You can see the first row is done. I mean, it's in pencil, so it's gonna be hard to see anyway. So, if you look at the tile, see how it's a cherry facing, like, high-low? And then low, high, high, low. The reason why I did this, usually tiles, you're going to want to do like patterns where your items repeat on the thirds. The reason why is if you look at the pencil then, right? It goes high, low, high, low, high, low. Because when I go to like go here and go the next row down, the tile lines up perfectly here. It's easier to see <laughs> in person, but... um. For example, a bad tile is this stencil. Oops, I grabbed two. 
The reason why this one is not going to be easier to tile is because one, there's only two shapes, so you can't necessarily line up the one previous in the upper row. And also, since there's no like third flower here, you're not going to be able to line up anything properly. So it's all going to be like eyeballing stuff. So this cute pattern, but not a good tile pattern for stenciling. And I didn't realize it till I cut it. And I could have recut it, but I didn't want to. <laughs> anyway, so let's go ahead and work on the second row. So now that this pattern is a perfect pattern, like the tile, it's good. Because see here, the pencil lines, I just have to line them up here. And then perfect tile. It's little things that you don't necessarily like think about until you start making, you know? <laughs> I don't know why the peach got auto-modded. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna do a peach one as well. I definitely think that doing like Animal Crossing fruit would be a really cute tile. So that is definitely going on the list for to do. Because, like, the stencils aren't that hard to make because the stencil process is, as you said earlier, like, I have my sketchbook and then I draw the, di the images digitally and then I use my, oh, so artists, if you have access to Adobe, definitely learn how to use Adobe Illustrator. Um, because, okay, you ever see, like, an ad and no matter what size the ad is, it's always, like, crystal clear? like not pixelated the reason why it's like that is because that image is most likely a vector image so a vector image is an not necessarily like an image i can form but it essentially registers data as like colors points and like lines connecting the points so but when you t like take a picture on your phone you zoom in and you see pixels right so that is just a photograph like a compressed image but vector images, as I said earlier, it's just points and then lines connecting the points. And no matter how big you blow it up, it'll always be this like this really crisp, high-resolution image. Anyway, the reason why I'm talking about vector images <laughs> is I drew my images in like... It's essentially like a... Uh, what you call it? Fuck. What's, what, what's the thing you draw on iPads with? Um... I know what it's called. I know what the program is called it's on the tip of my tongue, but it's it's essentially that program. Procreate. Yeah, hi, Digon. You got me. <laughs> we got it at the same time. Nice. Well, hi, welcome to Shadow Beating Well today, Digon. Um, but Procreate. It's essentially like a Procreate like knockoff for desktop. So I used that to draw, and then I imported my PNGs transparent into um, Adobe Illustrator. And then what you do is you do like a simple black and white image. And then when you import it into Illustrator, you um, make it into you image trace it. That way it makes your image into like points and like lines connecting the points. That way, no matter how big I want to make my stencil, it'll always be like the same shape, no matter how big the resolution is. So whenever I make a drawing that is like simple line art or like solid fill, I will always export it into like Adobe Illustrator. That way, if I ever want to use the image for, like, another project, I have it ready, no matter what resolution or size I need it. Um, a big reason why I'm trying to, like, practice that workflow is because, ultimately, I think the dream is to, like, have a coloring book. I think that'd be really cool. So, in order to make, like, a coloring book, you ever see, like, a shitty color book and, like, the image is, like, pixelated and not high res? It's because they printed a PNG or JPEG, not a vector image. So, I'm getting used to, like, making my line arts in my Procreate knockoff. And then importing them into Illustrator. That way I can have, like, a really high-res image. And we're getting there. This is maybe, like, a fourth of the wall. Um, as I said earlier, I'm not actually painting my wall because... I mean, my parents wouldn't care, honestly. They wouldn't care. They're like, it's your room, you can do whatever you want. I was like, Pog, go. Um, 
But I like the idea of being able to like switch out my wallpaper. Because like sometimes you don't you aren't necessarily like feeling it every day, you know? Because when I first moved into this room about a year ago now, because I got this room about back in June. I wanted to like do a mural on this wall right here. But then because like for me, I don't have any posters, I don't have any pictures hanging on the wall because um um, I don't like being in the dark because when I'm in the dark, I see like shadows. So like, even if you have like a simple like photo on the wall or like a picture frame, it's still a cast of shadow and the shadows scare me low key, high key. So I always, these starlights, oh frick, I always have these on. That way my room is always like a little bit lit. Like, I hate being in complete darkness. Like, it scares the shit out of me. How long do you think this is gonna take? <laughs> I mean, I think the penciling part is probably gonna take, like... Probably an hour. Because we're about 15-20 minutes in. And we're about a quarter of the way done. So yeah, it'll probably take an hour for, like, all the penciling. God. Okay, I ran a poll on Twitter. Saying, like, should I do this on stream or offline? And everybody said on stream. Which I assumed is what was going to happen. But, like, if I did this offline, I could probably get this done way quicker. Which is fine. I don't care. Like, if people want to, like, hang out and chill. And enjoy, like, shitty lighting. <laughs> as I pencil in. I promise lighting. Oh, I gotta do the tile. Um. Is this right? Yeah, that's right. Okay. But like, feel free and chill here for a little bit. Because, like, I myself, I don't necessarily watch a lot of, like, art streams on Twitch. Like, I know I definitely... Okay. Who do I watch the most? Hands down, it's gotta be Azan. I... Okay. I am bad. I am bad. Because, like, I have Hassan on all day, every day. Which is not good, mind you. <laughs> but I know for me, a lot of the time streams are just, like, background noise. So, like, I have Hassan on all day, every day. So, it usually, like, to me, a stream that I enjoy, like, lurking in is one where they're, like, talking the whole time. Where there's always, like, something playing, like, whether it be, like, music or a video. Okay, we got the second row done. Let's go. I go. <laughs> um, I was gonna say something else. Oh, I think that's a big reason why... I don't watch a lot of small streamers anymore. I'm gonna move my mic over here. That, oh, dude, I hate that. Never mind. We're not putting it there. <laughs> because, like, let's put it close to me, but actually, it'll be in frame. Let's not do that. Anyway, because, like, I'm facing away from it, so it's gonna sound a little bit different. Um, oh, anyway. So I don't necessarily find myself watching a lot of small streamers anymore for that reason because a lot of small streamers- I need to stand up real quick. A lot of small streamers, like, they're still finding their voice. I know I myself am still finding, like, my commentary voice, that type of thing. And there's a lot of dead air, which is fine. I think I've been doing pretty well so far today with, like, being able to keep talking. But that's because, like, I haven't streamed in- It's only been two days. Last time I streamed was Friday, Sag. So, like, I understand why people don't necessarily like the smaller stream vibe. But you definitely get that one-on-one -on -one interaction, you know, from people. Like, being able to, like, have your chat message read and acknowledged, I think, is something that people really like. I know I, myself, if I go into, like, let's say, like, a medium-sized stream where, like, their chat is popping off but it's not too crazy, like, insult, chatter, energy, me. I get annoyed if they don't, like, read my message. <laughs> but then I'm like, it's how it is. They don't have to talk to everyone, you know? So, guys, if I ignore a message, don't feel bad. Like, I just do it sometimes. Because, like, the only time I will really ignore a message... Okay, not ignore. Because, like, I read everything that's in chat. But the only time I don't, like, verbally acknowledge a message is, is if I can't, like, think of anything to say in response, you know? So, like, keep your chat messages, like, on topic if possible. 
Like, for example, if we're talking about, like, baking cakes, and, like, everyone is talking about baking cakes, and then you're talking about, like, gardening randomly, it's like, that makes no sense, hon. What are you, what are you talking about, you know? It's almost like you're trying to, like, divert the conversation to what you want to talk about. Which is fine, but keep in mind, like, you're just not going to get the attention. <laughs> or if it's bad. <laughs> yeah, if it's bad, then I won't talk about it. <laughs> um, yeah. We talked about this before, but, like, if anybody says, like, a joke that's kind of, like, iffy or something that's, like, inappropriate... Or like crossing a boundary like i will try to like handle it quietly but if it's with someone like a regular chatter who might not know like the behavior is not ideal then i will like just give a gentle reminder or like i will try be try and be gentle um because like i think a lot of it like chatting in general you have to think is my message being productive like is it relevant to what they are talking about is it going to be constructive? Um, because, like, especially when you look like, big streamers chats, like, a lot of people just say dumb shit to get attention. And that's cringe, okay? That is cringe. Um, I was watching, like, I I'll watch Hassan, right? And his chat is, like, da -da 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 -da, like, super fast, right? And I won't usually, like, sit down and look at chat because I'll just be looking at, like, this stream. But the other day... I was watching his chat as he was reacting to the Don Johnny Depp trial. And, like, so many chatters were, like, asking stupid shit. It's like, honey, they answered this the other day. Like, come on, why are you asking a dumb shit? And, like, if my chat was like that, just saying stupid shit all day to get my attention, I would be so annoyed. <laughs> um, but that's just how some chatters are. I understand that, but also... <laughs> Um, I saw this one TikTok where this guy was talking about how it's normal for your chat room to be, like, somewhat toxic and, like, not wholesome. But it's, like, I kind of get it, but also, like, the streamer has a lot of control over their chat room. That's why, like, especially now when I'm still really small, I need to, like, mold you guys into, like, but we're not. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I need to, like, mold you guys into, like, good chatters that I want. Okay? Like, I will allow some trolling, but not a lot. I don't allow a lot of shit talk. Like, if I'm playing Mario Kart, no one has done this, mind you, but if so, one of you guys says, oh, you're so bad, I'll be like, fuck you. <laughs> no, I won't say that. I'll just, like, delete the message and be like, hey, let's not do that. Because if you allow those type of messages to happen again and again, um, more people will become toxic over time. Because if you are a new chatter, or a regular chatter, and you see that that behavior is okay, then you're subconsciously going to want to act that way as well. A prime example, um, e -Rob's chat. I always bring up e -Rob's chat whenever we talk about this, because a lot of his chat is just people, like, shitting on him. And it's like, that's not fun. Like, I don't want to stream and see, like, my whole chat room, like, being mean all the time. Even if it's, like, being playfully mean, I don't want that, you know? Yeah, oh, dude. TikTok comments are insane sometimes. Like, thankfully, mine are pretty good. Like, the people who usually comment are, like, people who, like, follow the stream or who, like, enjoy the TikTok. So it's people who are, like, gonna be nice to me, right? But sometimes, oh my god. <laughs> I know, like, a lot of my clips that do decent are, like, the Mario Kart ones. And, like, I assume most of the people who, like, follow my TikTok aren't gamers, necessarily. Like, they're probably just people who either like my commentary, like what I talk about. They're not necessarily, like, Mario Kart heads. But anytime I post a clip talking about, like, a skip or a trick in the game... I get so many Mario heads comment and like not necessarily backseat game, but if they were typing the shit in my Twitch chat, they would annoy the shit out of me because <laughs> they're just like, hey, this is how you're actually supposed to do it. Or like, that's not how you're supposed to do it. And I'm like, oh, fuck off. <clears throat> so it's like, do I have no backseat gaming tag? <laughs> I do. I forgot to change my tags today. Oopsie. Um, anyway. 
So it's like, if you guys, in general, not you chatters, but if you're gonna leave comments on like TikTok or like any platform, just be nice. Like, how hard is it to be nice? I don't, I don't understand the difficulty behind it. Like, it's fine if your comment is, like, kind of funny. Like, if it's, like, a somewhat funny diss, like, that's fine. But if you're just gonna, like... Okay, there is a difference between criticism and berating. Criticism is, like, hey, this is wrong, but also this is how you can fix it. Like, that's fine. But also, like, I'm not asking for a critique right now. It's like, if I wanted advice, I would ask for it, you know? It's like, just buzz off. <laughs> <laughs> Some people on TikTok don't know what opinions are exactly. Like, I feel like TikTok comments are very similar to Twitter threads. Where everyone feels like they need to insert their dumbass opinions that are unrelated. Okay, we're going on to the next row. Like, I understand that people have varying perspectives on things. That is fine. That is a-okay. But also, why are you bringing up a topic that is totally unrelated to what I'm talking about? Like, we are not writing a five-page essay on my take about pizza. Like, I feel like some people online will get upset about the stupidest things sometimes. Like, it's different if you're, like, talking about social issues, because that is obviously a topic for, like, discussion and not necessarily debate, but, like, opening perspectives. But, like, for, like, just small stuff, like... Dude, I was, I was watching this, um... One guy talk about, like, comments in particular, and they were saying how, like, people on TikTok who, like, post cooking videos, they'll get, like, comments, like, basically criticizing every single thing they're doing in the kitchen. And it's like... Why are you doing that? Like, you don't necessarily need that, right? Like, let people do things how they want to, as long as they're doing it safely. Like, the only time I feel like it's appropriate to call out somebody for doing, like, a craft or a skill is, like, you know when you see, like, the resin videos and they aren't wearing gloves? Because the resin on its own is, like, low-key, high-key toxic, so you should be wearing, like, a mask and, like, not a mask, but, like, a respirator. And, like, gloves, because it's, it's toxic to, like, touch or breathe in for long periods of time. Like, that's the only time I feel like it's appropriate to, like, call them out because, like, they should be wearing protection. Because, like, if you are, like, making content that is, like, indirectly, indirectly, like, advocating for, like, non-safe practices, I can feel like that's valid to, like, criticize, right? But, like, just, like, a mom trying to make cupcakes at home, like, leave her alone! But also, guys... If you see, like, negative people in comments, just don't engage with them. Because that is only going to add fuel to the fire, right? That's why I tell you chatters, if you see, like, a negative person in chat or in, like, my TikTok comments or in my Twitter threads or whatever, like, just leave them alone. Like, I will handle it. A mod will handle it. Like, I don't want any soldiers going out to war for me, you know? Like, I'm a big kid. I can defend myself if I need to. Yeah, I think it's fine to like... Yeah, it, it is kind of fun to like read through like reply threads like a little bit. It's kind of fun to see people go back and forth. But like, just leave it at that. Like, don't in don't insert yourself. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little bit faster. I'm speed running right now. That's why, like. Especially on Twitter. Like, I feel like I should be more active on it, but... In order to be more active on Twitter, you have to, like, basically, like, spew, spew your opinions out to the world, right? And I feel like that's fine to do when you're still very small and, like, nobody, quote-unquote, nobody will, like, look at it or reply to it. But I feel like once you have, like, a big enough audience, 
there's always going to be criticism for like anything you say. Um, guys, in the bottom left corner of your chat box, I do have a channel for redemption for 20,000 points to where I will post a Twitter draft. On that topic, um, my Twitter drafts, some are wholesome and some are wild. <laughs> And I was editing one of the more wild drafts yesterday, and I accidentally clicked post instead of draft, and I was like, fuck! Thankfully, like, I realized right away, so, like, I instantly deleted it. Okay, mind you, it wasn't crazy. It was a, it was a joke, but still, it was, like, a wild for me. <laughs> so, if you guys want to see it, you just gotta redeem that channel point redemption. I know 20k is a lot. But also, my reputation is on the line, okay? Okay. <laughs> um, if anybody does redeem that in the future, I think what I'll do is after they redeem it, we can run a poll in chat to see if chat wants me to do a wholesome draft or a or a edgy draft. I think that'll be fun. That way, like, my fate is in your hands. Because, <laughs> like, my normal humor is, like, very vulgar, very edgy. And I don't show it a lot on stream or online. Because that type of humor warrants a lot of criticism. And I don't think I'm equipped to handle it yet. So. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, nothing my Twitter drafts are crazy. Like, they're just, like, kind of edgy shit. <laughs> I feel like most of the time chat will vote for edgy. Probably. 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 I mean, it's... I think it'd be funny. Because the one I accidentally posted was actually really funny. <laughs> Thankfully no one saw it though. <laughs> so chatters, chatters. If you want to see me delete my accidental- Oh, sorry, that wasn't even on cam, sorry. Like, just follow my Twitter and have notifications on. Do that. Then maybe you'll catch all the other times I'll accidentally post something kind of crazy. <laughs> okay, I think we're about halfway- Ooh, we're about two-thirds of the way done now. We're getting there. They were about 45 minutes in. We're doing good. Okay, I know I said I changed up my um, stream overlay because I wanted to have like different colors. That way when you looked at like my video feed for past broadcast, you would see like a rainbow with the overlays. But since the stream disconnected earlier, there's gonna be two greens and it's gonna bother me again. But you know, it's fine. My dad did call the internet provider, so he did reset the router, so everything should be A-OK -okay today. I have no idea why Twitch Studio logged me up. That was kind of cringe. That was that was that was a bad move by them. I think maybe I got kicked because I did a test stream earlier on my alt account. Maybe that was it. Maybe it got confused. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna go cry about it later. Oh, you know what I just realized? Since the stream ended, there's gonna be like pre-rolls. And me. Chatters, chatters. Do you guys get annoyed when there's like a pre-roll ad on a stream? I know I get annoyed. <laughs> Cause like, if I see a pre-roll, 90% of the time I'll click off of it. Which sucks because I know for me, um, I can't necessarily disable pre-rolls because the way that the monetization is set up is if you run X amount of ads for this amount of time, then it, like, turns off pre-rolls. But the longest I could turn off pre-rolls for is 30 minutes. So even if I run an ad at the start of my stream, like, which I usually do during the starting soon screen, um, <clears throat> it will run pre-rolls after 30 minutes. Which, it, it sucks, because, like, I know I myself hate pre-rolls, but that's just how it is for now. Hopefully they'll change it in the future. Okay. You know how Twitch announced that, um... Yeah, you got gifted. Let's go, Pago. Any Oilers want to gift more subs? That way chatters don't have to see ads, imagine. Um... At, it was, like, leaked about a week or two ago, right? Where they were, like, potentially changing the partner's, like, income... Or, like, the ad revenue, like, setup. Which is gonna suck. Like, my predictions are is that they're gonna make streamers, like, run more ads. Which is not fun for, like, the viewers. Like, I feel like that type of, like, ad setup is going to, like, encourage more people to subscribe. 
Which is good for the streamer, right? But not as good for the viewing experience. Chatters, I want you to listen up, okay? If you are watching Twitch on a budget, look up Twitch Turbo. It is amazing. Look it up. I'm not going to say what it is. Just look it up yourselves, okay? It is pretty crazy. <laughs> my setup is crazy today. I have my main desk. I have two mini TV tables. One for my paints and waters, and then the other for my laptop. I mean, those two tables are right here off screen. Because you know the meme? We're like, ooh, I accidentally drank from my paint cup, Lamau. I've never done that shit. You know why? Because I don't put my paint in a, a water cup. That's dumb. My containers I have for paint is like just old containers. This is a yogurt container. And then this is a, <laughs> a two pound container for gorgonzola cheese that I have water in. So no shot am I accidentally gonna drink from that, you know? I'm not saying that your DUM, if you do accidentally drink from your paint cup, but also just put it in a different receptacle. Easy clap. No more paint mouth. Okay, the only time I've accidentally, like, consumed paint... <laughs> that transition, oh my god. Was... I'm not gonna demonstrate it. I was trying to, like, open the, um, like, you know how, like, paint has, like, the, the plastic sealant on it? So I couldn't get it off, so I tried to get it off with my teeth, and then the cap popped open, and then I got paint, like, all over my mouth. It was gross. It tasted like sand. I don't think I've ever, like, ruined an art piece by spilling something on it. Like... I think the closest thing is maybe, like, I, like, splattered ink on it accidentally. Because, you like, you know when you're traveling? Like, bringing your brush from your palette to the paper. Like, sometimes you'll splatter paint accidentally. But I've never, like, spilt water on it. <laughs> but spitting water on it? <laughs> nice one. Emmy, welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. <laughs> it didn't taste like the rainbow. <laughs> what? Did you eat your painting? Is that what happened? Okay. We're getting there. You probably have like three rows left for this tile. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have made a command. That way I can link, like, the... What you call it? What you call it? The other patterns are made. Because usually my, like, format for stream... If it's something that I don't usually do... <laughs> have I done any schoolwork today? No, about Well, get on it, Issa. This is a stream where you can, like, listen to. So, do your homework or right now. Um... Anyway, for like, oh, it's not even on cam. Dude, I need to stop doing this. I need a bigger table. Get on to the next row. <laughs> so usually for streams where it's something different than what I usually do, I have like a command. Like, you know, for example, like anytime I did like the challenge streams or like the birthday stream, as people came in, I'd be like, hi, welcome to stream! Exclamation blank for what we're doing today. I feel like that is one. Like, very helpful for me because I don't necessarily have to explain to every person, like, what we're doing. It's a very, like, simple, like, thing. you be like, hey, do this if you want more information. And also, it gets chatters used to using commands. Because if you do exclamation commands in chat, it'll give you a full list of all the active commands I have. Because in my head, if I can give chatters more information, then, one, it's less for me to do and talk about... <laughs> And also, I think 
Exclamation blank. What? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. What, e what even would that command be? Blank? Just empty thoughts? I also don't have, like, the other commands. Like, I don't have, like, the 8-ball command because I think it's kind of cringe. Like, I can see how those make sense if you have, like, a larger chat where, like, you want your chat room to, like, entertain themselves. But when you're still small, I think it's kind of, kind of cringe. Ain't it funny? How it says on the screen. I'm not gonna be talking as much. But I've almost... Like, talked for this whole hour. That's kinda crazy. Oh, I see what you're doing, hacker. I see. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> I wonder if there's like a command with like you can do with underscores. I wonder if that's a thing. Like exclamation underscore underscore underscore. <laughs> it's it's wild to. This year, just in general, has gone by very quickly for me as well. Like, ever since I started working, like, the days start to blend together. Because <sighs> oh. <laughs> I don't think you can put, like, symbols in commands. Like, I don't think you can put, like, exclamation, um, question mark, you know? I'll have to look at that later. I think that'd be funny. Like, you know, like, people spam question marks in chat? <laughs> oh, guys, guys, if you're on desktop, I also enabled a few more 7TV emotes. So have fun with those. I added a few Mario ones, and then a few more just random ones. So have fun with those. I mean, we're about a month away from summer, aren't we, Essa? Like, it's almost June. Crazy. I mean, that's life for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got the fish one. <laughs> I think I saw that fish one in, like, Misgift's jet. And I know it's stupid, but I think it's funny. What it, What is, like, the code for it? It's some, like, random name. Yeah, it's Joel. Yeah, BLGs, it's the backwards long jump. It's funny. Whenever I start like SM64 speedrunning, I want you guys to spam the BLG emote just the whole time. Specifically for these um, stencils, I wanted to make the images as big as possible. But the only paper I could cut on was 8.5 by 11. Because if you think about it, if this is going to be used for like wallpaper or a stream background, you have to make sure your image is big enough to be seen on camera, right? Because I know my face cam is fairly small. Because this right here is the normal size for it. So you have to take that into consideration as well. And hey guys, hey guys, you know what time it is, right? You know what time it is? It's ad time, baby! So, you know what that means. It's ad time. So, you can avoid the ad break by subscribing for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Skip your coffee today and get ad free viewing and super cool sub emotes for a whole month. Or, 
If you have an Amazon Prime account, link it to your Twitch account, you get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. Or, if we have any secret Oilers, now is your time to drop those subs. Anyway, we will see some of you guys in a few. Okay, while the break is running, I need to check my phone. Do you have a favorite candle scent? Um, not really. I'm not too big a fan of candles or scented things, honestly. <laughs> Why are you muting my take? <laughs> but you don't like candles? Nani? Let's see, Hassan is live. Oh, uh, Sag, no one texted me. Sad day. I mean, also kind of good. Let's be honest. Okay. Um, I would have to say, like, my favorite scent for, like, candles. I hate floral ones because for some reason, um, floral scents, like, trigger my asthma. So, if I get a candle, I always have to get a fruit one. I don't know why. I have one distinct memory of sixth grade, and I was sitting in the gymnasium, because that's where you sat when school was about to start. And this teacher walked past me, and she had the strongest, like, rose-scented perfume that I've ever smelled in my life. And she walked past me, and I nearly passed out. Because my senses just got so overwhelmed. And I was like hyperventilating and shit. It was bad. I mean, thankfully, like, it wasn't bad enough to where I had to go to the nurse's office, but like, I almost like was out for the day. And like, for candles, I'd rather get like a wax melter than like an actual like wicking candle. One, because when I was little, my mom convinced me that if we had a candle in the house, it would burn the house down. And also, like, when you melt waxes or, like, candles in the house, like, the, the pigments are still in the air. So you're technically breathing in all those, like, pigments that you're not really supposed to. So if you have, like, a candle going, like, have a window open in your house. That way it airs it out a little bit. And it's better for you to like burn like oils than wax because oils don't have have the pigments and particles in it i think yeah she def got it from bad 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 but bath and body works i think the only thing i got from bath and body works that i genuinely like is ooh, let me go grab it is this This is Winter Candy Apple Hand Lotion. It's the only, like, fruity floral scent that doesn't make me, like, have an asthma attack. It is a seasonal flavor because it's a uh, Christmas one. So I have to buy it online. Yeah, my day wasn't too crazy. Like, I woke up at 7.30, as usual. Did my video posts for the shorts content. <clears throat> and then washed up, made breakfast, and then set up stream. I don't know how long we're going to go today. My goal is to get this one mural done. That way we have it ready for tomorrow. If we have time, then we can do one more. Because I think this one is probably going to take a total of three hours. Because I don't... I think painting is definitely going to take longer than penciling in. Because I definitely have to be careful. That way I don't like smear anything. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I did say this was going to be a longer stream. But also I want to play games with my sister when she gets home. She hasn't played Mario Party with me for at least a week and it makes me sad. <clears throat> oh, 
I was supposed to start this on Friday. Because I, I remember I was texting my friend about it. Because I, I made, no. I made the stencils either Friday or Saturday. Oh, no problem. I appreciate hanging out, hanging out with the City Hacker. We'll see you next time or see you later. Hope you have a good one, man. Um, I remember I was texting my friend, like, pictures of the stencils I made. And they were like, you should start painting right now. <laughs> and I was like, no, I have to do homework. And literally, literally all day yesterday was me wanting to start my homework and then not starting it till 2 p.m. It's like, you know when you don't do your homework and you have that anxiety where, like, you know you have to do it, but you don't want to do it, so then you just start spiraling? Because, like, you know you should do it, but then you, you don't do it. That was me for, like, from 9 a.m. till 12 p.m. yesterday. Like, I was just sitting in my room, like, watching TikToks and YouTube, being like, I should start my homework. I should do it. But then I didn't start it till 2. Cringe. What I think works best for me when I'm doing my homework and I can't necessarily like focus is I will like do homework for like 45 minutes and take a short break and then go back to homework take a break because like if you try and cram and do everything at once it's just gonna stress you out so like do what you can when you can like know your limits but also like don't slack too much I guess I think also having like less auditory distractions because I feel quote unquote I feel like I work better when I have like music playing or like a stream or a podcast on but I know I would be more productive if I turned everything off and just focused on my homework. I'm not telling you guys to leave the stream don't do that <laughs> but it definitely helps you focus if you just shut everything off. Okay, yeah, we're nearing the end. We probably have this row and then one more. I'm debating if I want to um, use like actual paints or use my paint pens. Because one, the paint pens dry faster, and also they're a lot easier to manipulate than actual paint. So I'm debating that right now. But the issue with like paint pens is I don't have it as many colors. You like the fish one? Nice. I think it's very fun. <laughs> it's also like... Um, what you call it? The white to gray is fascinating to watch in chat, because just the color difference is really like drastic. So it's very eye-catching as well. I can see why it became popular. Because even seeing like the fish in my peripherals, I'm like, I want to look at it, you know? That's why like, I'm so glad that they allow for more um, animated emote slots for affiliates. Because right now, I think I have four or five animated emotes. But guys, guys, once we hit 50 subs, chatters can get one more new animated emote. So if we hit 50 subs, we can get another emote, guys. Um, but animated emotes are so much fun to spam in chat. They're just very eye-catching as well. Like, it, it forces you to look at your chat room.
Okay, we're getting there. The last two tiles. Or, there's probably four more. Rip. Maybe I can alternate like the colors of the cherries. So maybe do like pinks, magentas, and reds. That way they're not all the same. I think that'd be cute. stretch. I just realized I accidentally ripped the paper. It's right here. I mean, it's fine. It's bound to happen. Because if the whole concept is like changing out the wallpaper every so often, it's for sure gonna get ripped at times, unfortunately. Okay, last one, last one. Then we can start painting, finally. Okay, done. Now. Now that that's done, we can finally start painting. So, I need to figure out what colors I want to use. I'm gonna put this here. It doesn't move. Nice. So, let's see. Let's see what colors I actually have. I'm gonna turn on a few lights. That's a little bit better because I need a brighter for when I start painting. Okay. I think I want to do the leaves obviously green. So this is like. This one is called Apple Tart. I think that magenta is cute. Colors, but I don't really want to today. Definitely this light brown. I want to keep the palette simple. Yeah, I think these four are good. I think these ones are good. Okay, we can get started. I think I want to do one color at a time. I gotta go grab my brushes.
Hold up. Let's get started. Wait, I just realized this one is crooked. Like, these ones are way too close together. Why are those so close together? Why is that so off? Yeah, those are way too close together. You probably can't see it on cam, but that's way too close. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's whatever. We're, we're just gonna keep going. Okay. So I think I'm only gonna do one color at a time, because I don't want to, like, have my paints dry out. I think alternating, like, for example, doing, like, pink, red, pink, red, would look nice. Oh, uh, but that's all gonna be, like, in a, in a row. So probably pink, red, pink, red. And then red, pink, red, pink. Red, pink. I don't know, maybe I should just do all this in color. I don't know, uh, that's something for me to think about. Okay. I'm gonna do the green first. Or no, let's do pink first. <laughs> I think maybe. Like, if we're gonna do all one color. I think maybe pink no red is what cherries actually look like let's do all red cherries that way it makes sense okay let's go Focus mode activated now. I have to make sure like it's on camera when I'm painting. We got one done. I think we're gonna do one section at a time. That way it can allow for like the paper to adequately dry before I move it. Because I was gonna paint this when it was attached to the wall. But if you're painting like this against the wall, it's gonna hurt your wrist over time. And I don't necessarily wanna hurt my wrist just yet.
Okay, I'm not very good at painting in the lines, I've noticed. <laughs> It just looks like little hearts, and it's so cute. dark barking in the song yeah it is it's wild i don't like that because when i was younger my mom she got attacked by a dog and i was there and my sister and i were like hiding behind her as the dog was like scratching up her legs so like ever since then i've been deathly afraid of dogs <laughs> I'm just fine if it's at like a friend's house and I know the dog is friendly, but like going out in public and like seeing a stranger's dog has always like scared me. Like I'm always super cautious when like people don't have it on a leash, but still. Hi Patch! Welcome to Stream Hopper Doing Well today. We're painting our new stream background. We did an hour of penciling it in. Now we're finally painting. <laughs> yeah, it's going good. It's a chill one. Nothing too crazy today, so it's been going well. What's nice about this being like the wallpaper, I don't have to worry about not painting in the lines because you can't even see the pencil marks. So that is a plus for sure. Yeah, painting is definitely fun. I haven't, like, done art art in a long time. But just, like, carefully, like, guiding your brush has always been, like, super relaxing for me. Back when I did, like, India Ink portraits, it was always really fun doing the line work, because... Like, holding your brush a certain way, like, requires so much concentration. And it's so satisfying to, like, look at a piece and you're like, oh, I did pretty well on this one. I think the like most 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 fun part of like making art is concepting out the idea. Cuz I always say it, but I'm more the idea guy, not the maker. Like when I'm thinking out of like an illustration, like I can usually concept it out and like have an idea in my head by rendering. It's always been difficult. Lurking today no problem. This is what today is for. <laughs> I know I'm not going to be talking as much either, so feel free, lurk, chat, whatever makes you happy. Because usually for, like, art streams in general, it requires, like, so much concentration that, like, even if I know I start talking and, like, start rambling, it's going to distract me. I think that's why I don't want, like, art streams to be a regular thing on my channel. Because I definitely want to do, like, content for stream that pushes my commentary. Which art does not. <laughs> because I know once I stopped doing art streams back in... 
I think October is when I finally like started developing my like voice on camera and like on screen personality. Not saying that like art streams are bad, but it doesn't force you to be like engaging enough in my opinion. My only concern today is not to get paint on my desk. Because, like, I wouldn't mind it, but ideally I want the desk to be nice and clean. I could have put mats down, I could have put a tablecloth, but not. We're living on the edge. push myself more with like developing like shades and like actually blending but I like the look or, but I like the look of like flat colors like I like iconography a lot because so I feel like if you can can if you can convey like a message with simple shapes I feel like it's a lot more effective and a lot more like unique
Hi, Rose. Hello. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Working on our new background. <clears throat> I don't know how long it's going to take. It's probably going to take like... See, we're about hour and a half in. It's probably going to take another hour and a half. So, it's going to be a long one today. But of chatters, do you have any suggestions for like what you would like to see as a potential new background? Because these are, um, yeah, it's cute. It's actually heart-shaped cherries. You can't really see because it's pencil, but it's like little stems and then leaves that'll be added after. But I think the heart cherry is super cute. <laughs> but if you guys have any suggestions for like other potential like tile patterns we can use for a background, feel free to leave a suggestion in chat. Because as I said earlier, I'm going to have a channel point redemption to where you can change my background. Because we're going to attach this butcher paper with Velcro to the wall. That way anytime it redeems it, we can just easily swap it out for something else. Peace signs? I think that'd be cute. I was thinking about doing just like hands. I thought hands would be cool, like different positions. Like, you know, because like your fingers are very... Dexterous, right? Because like you can have an infinite amount of positions for hands. But with that idea, I have to be careful not to like make any like ASL signs. So I don't want to accidentally like paint a bad bad word or something. <laughs> or like any gang signs. <laughs> I gotta be careful. Okay, I know I'm painting off cam, but I don't want to move my paper because I'm afraid that I'm going to smear something. So just bear with me while I'm painting off cam. I promise you I'm not slacking. <laughs> Imagine, yeah. <laughs> Imagine I actually do it and I get cancelled or some shit. That'd be bad. <laughs> Because, like, I feel like it's fair to, like, criticize people if they do something wrong, but if they do it unintentionally, like, give them some slack, you know? Oh, as it says on screen, I'm not necessarily going to be talking as much because I'm focusing. But chatters, feel free to chat, ask questions, that type of thing. Because, like, I know it's bad to only chat when you have people, or only talk when you have people in chat. But I feel like for art streams, it's kind of hard to, like, talk on your own. I know for the first hour I was basically talking the whole time, but now that I'm actually like painting painting, I have to focus. Like I can't be messing up now. Because yes, the background is white, but it's very hard to cover stuff up with white. Okay. Yeah, we don't want that. <laughs> okay, we got the first road done. I think there's a total of probably like 15 rows of cherries. Okay. On to the next one. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Like I said earlier, I know I should be like developing like shades and like actually blending. But I like the look of flat colors. And especially if this is going to be used for like wallpaper. You don't necessarily need like super blended or fully rendered imagery or colors. And like I've always struggled with realism or realism. Because I very much get frustrated when stuff doesn't look right or correct or like my reference image. Like it makes me mad. <laughs> That's why I like illustrative rather than realism work. I feel like it's better for my mental health. Oh, dude, I did get paint on the table. Fuck! 
Okay, I scraped it off. I scraped it off. We're fine. We're saved. That's a nice thing. With acrylic, if you catch it before it, like, once it's dry but not fully dry, you can scrape it off. But India ink, you can't do that shit. I think I have, like, like, I don't have a big ink stain, but I have, like, the size of maybe, like, a grain of rice. Like, a size that big of ink on my desk, and it pisses me off. I'm not worried about spilling today. I have all my waters on a separate mini desk, so we're not gonna spill. But I'm still worried about spilling on my clothes, so I am wearing my stuff inside out today. <laughs> I mean, you can't really tell. But. Cause like, I had painting clothes, but then I lost them. They're probably like stuffed in the bottom of a drawer somewhere. But you know, I don't wanna go find them. So I remember when I painted this room white, um, we couldn't move all the furniture out of the room because our house is too small to like move stuff around. So like we had to paint around my giant ass queen mattress. So <laughs> it was not fun painting the room, but I remember like we put like tarps over everything and I spilled like this fat ass dollop of white paint on the bed, granted on the tarp. And I remember I was like, because in order to get across the room, you had to like walk across the bed. <laughs> so I remember like I stepped in that paint, like I sat in it. <laughs> so I think my painting shorts have like, basically the whole ass is white. <laughs> okay, I need to get more paint. I think the most frustrating thing is trying to open the cap without getting paint on your fingers. Okay, we didn't do it that time. Easy. Saved. Yeah, this is just cheapy acrylic paint, so nothing too special, guys. I'm not no millionaire. Oh, a thing that I want to get into is, um, you ever see, like, the videos where people paint on glass with acrylic? I thought that would be really cute and pretty to do. Like, just buy, like, used picture frames and paint on them. But apparently, since glass is not porous, it's not going to absorb the paint. Like, the surface tends to resist the paint. So it'll crack or, like, bubble. I was like, damn. And I remember, also, it was a hi, Patty. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. Um, painting our new stream back background. Anyway, it was this whole ass three-minute video. And she was like, oh, this is how you get your paint to not, to not crack. And the whole video, I watched the whole video and I was fucking annoyed because TLDR, it's always gonna fucking crack. Just buy nice acrylics and it's less likely to crack less. And she spent like a whole three ass minutes like rambling on and on about it when she could have just said the whole point in 10 seconds. I fucking hate TikTok sometimes. Did you guys hear how like TikTok added 10 minute videos? That to me is wild. Like... Little Zoomers can't even watch, like, a 10-second clip sometimes. Do you think they're going to sit through a 10-minute video? I think it's partially to combat <laughs> the concept of, like, ooh, watch part two or part five. And, like, it's always in the replies. Like, I think that's fine. Like, people are just farming engagement and content. But also, I know it's annoying when I have to click through and find all million parts of a stupid story time, you know? I know! It's like... Okay, granted, I think it's fine during stream. Because streams, you're supposed to ramble. But YouTube, to me, you're supposed to cut out and keep, like, the most essential parts. So it's like, if I'm watching a tutorial, and, like, Honey is doing a two-minute intro talking about her weekend, and I'm like, I don't want to hear that shit, old lady. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to hear about your knitting club. I want to see you actually knit. <laughs> I feel like it depends on the platform. Like, I think on Twitch, it's fine to, like, ramble a little bit. But if you're cutting down content for, like, short form or YouTube, like, get to the point. Like, my ADD cannot handle this.
Oh, Batty. I also added some new 7T V emotes, so have fun with those. Added Joel the fish. <laughs> so Issa was spamming that earlier. <laughs> Okay, we're getting there. Nice. Yeah, I was debating if I wanted to add Joel, but then I was like, I think it's kind of funny. And I know I would have fun with Joel in chat. Because, like, I, I'm not usually, like, an emote spammer. Like, I don't usually spam walls of text, but Joel, I think it's pretty funny. Like, if I'm ever feeling it, I will gladly spam that in Mizku's chat. Like, I remember, I think it was during the Korea trip. But they were, like, looking at chat, and Mizkif was like, Oh, they're doing what they usually do, just spamming Joel. <laughs> and it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> I added a few of the- oh, fuck. Added a few like Mario emotes. So I think there's um character please for most of the like major Mario Kart characters or Mario characters. Like I think there's Luigi Wario Lu Waluigi please, I think I enabled. I don't know. Have fun with those chat. Because especially streams like today's where it's not necessarily more of me talking. Like, this is the stream to, like, stay, say stupid shit. Also, chat is not on screen. So. Ha. <laughs> I said it earlier, but the reason why I don't have chat on screen today is because since I'm focusing on, like, actually farting, I can't moderate chat as much as I usually do. So that way, if anybody says a bad word, it won't be on screen. Easy. I feel like that's a big reason why, like, streamers don't have chat on screen. But also, like, if a chatter says a bad word, the streamer can't necessarily get in trouble unless they allow that behavior to continue. So, for example, if your chatters are saying slurs, it's not the streamer's fault. It's only the streamer's fault if they don't, like, delete the message after a reasonable am amount of time. Not telling you guys to do that. <laughs> But, yeah. I don't know why I'm so yawny today. I got a decent amount of sleep. I mean, nothing too crazy. As of recent, I've been trying to, like, spend more time doing stuff. Like, instead of spending, like, two hours before bed, like, lazing around and, like, watching videos, I've been trying to, like, draw or, like, edit stuff. That way I'm, like, engaging my brain before I go to sleep. I think that's partially why I've been, like, been able to, like, sleep better in general.
Like, I know they say, like, put away your tech when you go to bed. But I can't do that anymore. Like, I can't sit in bed and do nothing. Because, like, that's when the thoughts come in, you know? Because most nights, like, I fall asleep, like, watching a YouTube video or something. Like, the, a few nights, like, I'll fall asleep watching a stream, and then I wake up and my phone is dead. <laughs> but it's nice, because, like, my body's trained to, like, still wake up at, like, 6 or 7 by default. So I haven't woken up late in a while. Okay, I got paint on my desk, but, you know, we scraped it off in time. Saved. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I agree. It's kind of like falling asleep with like the TV on, you know? Because I definitely need like some type of white noise to have me fall asleep. Okay, we're gonna do a different color now. I think we can start on the brown. I need to go grab my paper towels, I forgot. I forgot to have one ready. <sighs> oh my god, stretch! You know what's funny? I prepped three butcher sheets thinking I could get like three done today. No shot. <laughs> I think we're just gonna do this one today. <laughs> Unless chat wants a 24 hour stream maybe? That'd go hard. Okay, I'm rinsing off my brush right now. I think I'm gonna go in with brown. That way we can actually start seeing the cherry stems. That way if chatters come in, they actually see what I'm doing. Okay, don't do this guys. Don't open shit with your mouth. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay, okay. Yeah, I don't think I'd ever do a 24-hour stream. Because like, okay, think about it, chatters. People who do subathons. That go on for like days or weeks potentially. Like, is the content good? Not really. Most of the time I pop into a subathon just to see the timer. Like, I'm one of those chatters. Dude, this kind of looks cool on the table though, right here. I was only really looking at, like, the POV cam, but this looks pretty nice. Like, from a distance, that's gonna look so cute. Okay. Let's get started on the stems. Yeah, that's dry. And, like, talking about long streams... It's hard to think of content that'll fill that time, right? A big reason why I started doing Animal Crossing every day is to get my streams to hit the three hour mark. Just so I get used to streaming longer. And I think it's been working out pretty well for the most part. But imagine having to fill 12 hours of content. Like... And that's like normal streaming hours for some big streamers, right? I can understand why people were critical of the TV show meta. But how are you going to fill 12 hours of content and keep people engaged, you know? Exactly. Like, I would like to do streaming part-time. I think it'd be fun to do. But I think it'd also be stressful to like think of good content, you know? That's definitely something that I've been battling with personally. Because I like the gaming streams. But I know that's not good for growth, you know? I think a big reason why I like the just chatting streamers is because those type of streams, like that genre in specific, showcases their personality a lot more. <clears throat> Because when I think about it, a lot of the streamers that I watch, 
My favorite segments of their stream is when they're in just chatting. But also, <laughs> if they're not doing anything, I get bored of what's on screen. Because I feel like just chatting segments, if you're going to do like incorporated just chatting into your stream, like do just chatting for maybe an hour. Anything longer, I get bored. Like the streams where it's like three hours of a concept, right, is cool. But also it's kind of like where the shtick goes on for too long. That's why like for any of my um, Mario Kart challenge streams, like I would do it for like two or three hours straight in the past. But then people would only stay for the first hour because they would see what's going on and then get bored of the shtick. Which I understand. I would get bored too if I was taking L's all the time. Um. Like, I think it makes sense to have those just chatting streams if you're going to edit them down to like a 20 minute YouTube video. But me as a chatter, I'm not really going to sit through three hours of just chatting. Kind of like a stream like today, where I know people will pop in. But I know I myself, I can't watch someone paint for, for three hours. <laughs> so I, I'm not too mad at people coming in and out. I don't care. I mean, I do care, but it's not going to make me upset. Because I know art content is not as, I guess, visually engaging as a gaming stream would be. That's why, as I said earlier, I'll do these occasionally. Like, I'm not going to schedule them because I think... Okay, bye. Oh, wow. <laughs> slash J slash SRS. <laughs> um, I was going to say something. Oh, yeah. That's why... Yeah, JK. You're fine. I know you're trolling. Um, usually when I see the people leave, I'm like, oh, they're trolling. <laughs> Um, that's why, like, I'm not necessarily gonna schedule any art streams that I do. Like, I'll probably just have them be, like, surprise streams. Or, like, extra ones. Because also, I feel if I schedule art streams, it's gonna, like, pressure me to, like, feel like I have to make stuff. So I haven't, like, arted in a long time. Like, the last time I broke up my India inks was probably in, like, October or November. Because, like, when you're making art, you kind of have to be in the mood for it, you know? Because for, like, normal stream, I'm usually in the mood for it because, like, I get to play game, I get to talk to cheddars, like, that's pretty fun. Okay, a concern I might have is that the paper will get wrinkly. Like, it's doing pretty good so far. Because the paint is kind of thin. As long as it doesn't get too crinkly, I think it'll be fine. Because the butcher paper just in general is really thin. So it doesn't hold the paint very well, as like a canvas would. Like, I could have colored it with like regular pens. But it would definitely like kill all my markers. And I don't want to do that. Also, br brushes are so much more fun to use. Okay, now that we started painting the stems, I think it's looking a lot better now. Like, you can actually tell that they're cherries. Hey, chatters! You know what time it is? Anybody know what time it is? Anybody, anybody. <laughs> we are another hour into stream. So it is time to fulfill my contractual obligation. Yes, it is ad time. <laughs> so in order to avoid that ad break, you can subscribe for just $4.99, just $5 a week. Or you can link your Amazon Prime 
to your Twitch account and get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. Or if you have any Oilers, now is the time to give subs. <laughs> Kidding, but actually not. Okay, we will see some of you guys in a few. Hey dude, it sucks typing with one finger. There we go, we'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay, back to painting. Yeah, the thing I love and hate about acrylic paint is that it dries fairly quickly, but it's also a lot more difficult to blend. Dude, I cannot wait to hang this up. I'm so genuinely excited. I mean, we probably won't be able to hang it today because it's got to dry. No, I'm not gonna paint the background, no way. <laughs> if I was, I'd probably do like a light, like sky blue. But I think for the majority of these, I kinda wanna keep the background white, one, because I don't have a lot of paint. And two, um, I feel like the background would stand out too much because it's gonna go right here, right? In this corner. That way you can see the wallpaper on like the regular gaming cam. And I feel like if I did like a solid color background, it'd be a bit too much, you know? Because a big reason why I like the white background, I know it's really simple, but then the white doesn't clash with my clothes. Like for example, if I was wearing red and I like, I painted the whole thing green, it'd be whack, right? So I feel like doing tile patterns similar to this one, where I keep the background white, it'll be a lot more subtle. Also, it's a lot less work. <laughs> this is a win-win, baby. Oh, did I tell you, Batty? I don't know if you're in chat earlier, but the plan is I am going to attach Velcro to the back of this and then attach Velcro to my wall. See that little black dot in that corner? That's Velcro. That way chatters can change my background. So once I have more like butcher paper painted, I can easily swap it out for a new background for the day. Ain't that pretty sick? I think it's cool. I thought of that idea last night and I was like, God, Megan is a genius. <laughs> Yeah, it, it is really sick. Don't don't say kind of. It's really sick. <laughs> um, because like the way I see channel point redemptions, I want them to like showcase something. That's why like a lot of my channel point redemptions are like, you know, the cringe stuff where it's like, ooh, hydrate or or do a dance. Uh, okay, if I could dance, I would dance. Hi, so welcome back to stream. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about how earlier you discovered your love 
for the fish. <laughs> um, but I don't want my channel play redemptions to be like too distracting from the content. Like the only one that really interrupts like stream would be the singing redemptions, but I feel like that's fine, you know, because that's showcasing a quote unquote talent I have. You guys have fun with that. <laughs> I think this this is coming together pretty good so far. Okay, sorry. I was like gripping my finger against the table here. Like off screen and it was starting to shake. So I had to pause for a second. <sighs> One stroke. Dude, is so good. <laughs> Sorry, the Kirby fishing and Joel. <laughs> I think that's my new favorite emote combo. That's so good. <laughs> Dude, if I could have like a million and one emote spammers in chat, I'd be so happy. Guys, get on it. You'll start your schoolwork at 1? Okay. 15 more minutes to chill. That sounds reasonable. You gotta hold yourself to that, though, Issa. why some streamers don't necessarily like emote spam and chat I think it's fine like it keeps your chat moving and it keeps like your little chatters entertained when you can't talk to them all the time because <laughs> similar to me like if I see something funny on screen I like it you know what I mean like the only emote spam I don't like is like the one where they use like slashes and dashes to make a shape or like the copy pastas where like they use symbols to like make genitalia, like that's not cool. Like that'll get that'll give you a timeout, guys, so don't do that. Um Like the main reason why I don't like that type of spam is because like it doesn't translate well on different devices. Like, if I have my chat zoomed in and you do like a copy pasta where it's like you making a tank with slashes, I can't see it. Yeah, the contrast where they do like scary shit too. It's like, I don't want to see that. I want to look at chat and see something funny or cute. Yes, seeing an anime character's buttocks may be cute to you, but not to me. <laughs> it's like, not everyone wants to see, to see that, did it? I need to stretch. Everybody, stretch! Okay, what's nice about the stems is that the width of the stem is about as big as my brush. 
so I can easily go in with a single stroke and draw the stems. It's pretty poggers. <laughs> How much longer you got left in school, Issa? Are you ending school in beginning of June or end? Are you graduating this year or next year? I can't remember if you were a senior or, ju or a junior. Oh, you are a junior. Okay, so you got one more year left. You got one more year. I feel like senior year is the best year. Because, like, yes, it's the year where you have to, like, actually care about your homework and, like, actually do shit. But also knowing that it's like, oh, finally, I'm out of school. It feels so good. Now that it's finally about 1 p.m., I'm getting some natural light in my room. Finally. Is this J Schlatt music? <laughs> I was thinking about making like an art account on TikTok, but I feel like I wouldn't be able to post on it often. There's a lot of art content on TikTok. It's usually like either a sped up version of them like doing the art or like cutting together like moments of it and revealing the final. Or what they do is the first part is they make the art and then they do like, ooh, Go to part two for the reveal, and it's fucking cringe as shit, and I hate it. Like, it legit pisses me off. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be painting off screen, so don't freak out. I'm still here. Um. But I thought it'd be cool to, like, make an art account where I just do caricatures. Because I know basic caricature. Like, I think it'd be fun to have, like, people submit, like, pictures on Twitter or something. But the thing with caricatures is essentially at its core you're exaggerating certain features. Like, that's what it is at its core. But I feel like that'll make people insecure. So I was like, maybe I should not do that. <laughs> Like, if we ever have enough people, I think it'd be fun to do, like, a caricature, like, stream. 
where I do like portraits alive or something. Okay, you got the bottom row of stems done. I still have a bit of brown paint queued up, so let's see how am I going to do this. I have to be careful not to clip on my shirt, but I got to do. <laughs> Is that what you wanted, Issa? Did you want to be like a sports person? But getting like the full body illustration has got to cost more though, yeah? Because I always see the caricature boost. And usually they just do like the head portrait. But getting like the full body, full color? Oh god, though, Lamo, Sag. <laughs> Sorry, I'm at C Sag. I've always wanted to get a caricature done. Oh, uh, I see. Damn. Um. But I usually just like watching them actually draw it. Like, I remember the last time the caricature booth was at, like, my farmer's market. Which they'll have occasionally. They don't have it every year, but sometimes they do. Like, I remember I talked to one of the artists for, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> it was actually cool and chill. And I remember the, the artist was like, yeah, you know, you can apply. Da -da -da. But then I didn't get accepted. Rip. But then pandemic happened, so I would have gotten fired anyway. <laughs> but I'll try again another time. Because I think caricature would be really fun to do. Because you get to talk to cool people. You get to draw. Yeah, I was never into sports. Like, I wanted to, but I just wasn't physically able to. Because I was asthmatic when I was younger, and I technically grew out of it when I was, like, eight. But I, I've shown signs of, like, it developing, developing again. But I've never been able to do, like, strenuous exercise. Like, the only sports I did was, I think, track in, like, sixth grade. I was pretty fast. Like, we would have run the relay... If everyone else on my team ran faster, you know what I mean? Like, the team was dragging me down. Well, that's kind of good, but also kind of bad. You're like, I just don't need to use this anymore. <laughs> yeah, I remember I had to stop using my inhaler. And my doctor rec recommended I didn't need to anymore. Like, I don't think I necessarily need an inhaler now. It's just like, I can't do anything too physically strenuous right now. So. 
I bet if I went back to the doctor specifically about asthma, they'd give me one. I don't know. Okay, if they told me to use it, I would use it, mind you, because, you know, listen to your doctors. But I don't think I need one. Okay, I think I've used up all of my brown paint. So- Dude, you guys did not even see that shit. I- I grabbed my plate before I found the floor. And I also got paint all over my fingers, God damn it. Okay, so... We're gonna rinse off my brush. And also wipe off my fingers. The worst is getting paint on your nails because it stains your nails. It's so annoying. So I was going to paint my nails today. Like on TikTok. But then I was like, wait, if I'm going to paint, I shouldn't do that today. Or at least after stream. I might- no, I don't know if I'm gonna paint my nose this week. I kinda wanna keep them bare. I haven't, like, had my bare nose for a long time. <laughs> oh, thank you for clipping, I appreciate it. So what did you clip? <laughs> like, what was substantial for a clip? <laughs> yeah, it's wild whenever you, like, focus on something. It feels like you're in the zone almost. Like, I know I definitely, like, kind of, like, tune everything out when I start, like, drawing or playing a game. Okay, we're going in with green now for the leaves. Yeah, Issa was just too good at the game. <laughs> Everyone was hate watching Issa as they play basketball. <laughs> I think the question is, can a short plus person play basketball? Like, is that possible? And if so, how short can they be? Hey, look at it with the little leaves on it. God, it's so cute.
anybody else use like emotes when they text people? Because I've noticed I've started like typing in huh, like capital H U H, and like the capital D colon sometimes when I'm texting people. Because, like, my friend, he's not a Twitch head at all. Like, he does not like Twitch at all. <laughs> and he's, he's like, why do you keep typing it huh, in all caps? I'm like, it's an emote. He's like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> I remember, he, he told me he tried to, like, watch Twitch. Because he's a big Moist Critical fan. And he, like, tried to watch one of, like, Moist's um, streams. And he said he got bored instantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want up people, you just send the image. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Issa can't say poggies. I think saying poggies or like poggers IRL is a little bit cringe. I think I think it's a little bit cringe. Because that's like the one like Twitch phrase that everyone uses to like shit on like Twitch heads. Cause like I kind of started watching Twitch after, I guess like the the Pog meta. So like people don't necessarily use it as much now, from what I've noticed. When did Hump huh become popular? I feel like it only became popular recently. Yeah. Ooh, I also downloaded Chat Arena for my computer, and I was gonna use it because I was like, oh my god, this is what Hassad uses! But, Chat Arena does not support 7TV emotes. And I was wondering about it, because like, Hassad doesn't have any 7TV emotes enabled. I was like, oh, that's weird. But it's because Chat Arena doesn't support it. You have to like get like an external like thing downloaded to make it work. And I was like, damn. So I gotta figure that out before I can start using Chat Arena for stream. So I like how chat already you can like highlight specific users messages or specific like things that come up in chat. I think that is cool. But bro, if I can't see the emotes that I want, I ain't doing it. Yeah, I was looking up like a forum and like how to like enable the 7 TV for it and I was like, this looks like hacker man shit. I don't want to do this today. <laughs> Cause it was like 10 p.m. the other night where I randomly thought like, oh I should Figure out Shatterino. But I was like, ah, I'll do it another day. I feel like Shatterino, I only would really need if I have a more active chat. Because with Shatterino, you can like click on a user profile and like more easily like ban or like time out people. Other than that, like, because like for my like way to look at chat, I have my Twitch mod view open. That way I can see my chat. I can have my different like chat room op options like emote, sub, follow only chat. That way I can quickly enable it. Um, and then I have a, a feed of my stream to make sure everything is like visually fine. Yeah, banning spree soon, yeah. I think it's so funny how Hassan will pull up chat logs before he bans people. I think it's fucking funny. Not saying that I'm gonna do it, but I think it'd be fun to try that at some point. Like you get to roast the chatter before you clap them. <laughs> How often do you guys do critiques for class? I know for us, we do like critiques like every other week, depending on if we have like a project due. Hey, I don't know about y'all, but I, you can see me do it. I did it just now, but like, I'll scratch my face with my paintbrush. Mainly because like, I know there's paint on my fingers and I don't want to get paint on my face. So, that's what I'm doing. Oh, 
Uh, weekly critiques? Oh, that sucks. I would hate that. Because, like, we have critiques if there's projects, but then we also have, like, a weekly discussion board. Where you're supposed to, like, reply and critique. But it's not as, like, harsh as, like, an actual critique on an art piece, you know? I kind of wish there was more green. Like, I feel from a distance... Like, obviously, the red is gonna be the main color, right? But I feel like the the brown and the green kind of muddies together. Because, like, I was debating when I was making this design. I was like, maybe I should have put the leaves here. Or, like, here at the top of the stem. But I was like, no. I like the symmetry of having the leaves on top of the cherries. I don't know. It's fine. Uh, uh, it's too late now. <laughs> Reset. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it's past one o'clock, Issa. How about one thirty? Can we do one thirty? I'll still be here when you're done with your homework, I'ma be honest. Cause going at the rate we're going, we probably get another like two, three hours. Sag. <laughs> Maybe, okay. We'll try again at one thirty. <laughs> <laughs> Chatters, do your homework. Keep the stream open, but do your homework. <laughs> Can I become the new study group where all you little Zoomers come in, have my stream open, and study? <laughs> Can I be the new lo-fi girl? Okay, that doesn't sound too bad, so that sounds doable. Like yesterday, I had to make two illustrations and I pro procrastinated all week. And I got it done in five hours. Let's go. You guys know how Pokemon has like the animated intro scene? Where it's her like getting ready for stream and like sitting at the desk and it's super cute and anime? That is what I want. That is what I want for my intro. I think it's so cute. Chatters, we are doing monthly Mario Kart tournaments now. And I did announce it last week. But if you place, you get VIP for a month. Isn't that kind of wild? And if I happen to get first, second, or third, that means we're only having two people getting VIP. You don't deserve it. <laughs> I feel like that's fair. Are you gonna start grinding batty to get that VIP? I wanna see who gonna, who's gonna get it. Cause I think last month we had a Vengeance, Hacker, and Alex Vision place. So let's see if they can place again. I think for sure Vengeance is gonna win. Obvi. Cause they were like actually correct. But we'll see. 
My goal is to get at least third this month. My goal is third. Which I think is doable. I think in order for me to get third, I just have to turn the chat off and not look at you guys. And just like genuinely focus on the game. I think that's the only way I win. But you know this cheating, so... We'll see how I do. It is going to be a no item tournament though. That's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to make a command for it. Oopsie. So I keep forgetting what day it is. <laughs> that way you can just type in chat like the actual date it's gonna be. But it's gonna be the last Sunday of the month. <clears throat> true, true. I can also distract chatters as well. I think a, I think a strat for me during this tournament is just saying chatter's name as the race is going on. That way you're like, what? She's talking to me? Oh my god, the <laughs> I think that'll be the strat. That'll be my upper hand. As you guys are all stream sniping me, I can just say your names. Who's gonna spin to distract you? I'm, I'm sh I know we have some chatters who won't race, and that's fine. Because I think during the tournament, during that section of the birthday stream, I averaged, I think, 15 viewers. And then we had like eight or nine people racing. So there were some chatters just watching. So we will have probably some spammers. Yeah, chatters talk about how they can't type during a race, but imagine like trying to like commentate while you're trying to race. It's difficult. Like it took me a long time to like learn how to like talk as I'm playing a game. Like even now I still like stutter. I still like ramble. Like my sentences aren't fully coherent. But I think I'm definitely better than how I was like three months ago. Because right now, the clips I'm editing down for TikTok and YouTube, I think are clips from March. And I can definitely see how, like, my speaking style has changed from, like, January to March. Now that I'm almost caught up with clips. I mean, I forgot. We're in May. We're not in April. God damn. I'm still two months behind. What if there was, like, text-to-speech for Twitch chat? Wouldn't that be crazy? Like, you know there's, like, text-to-speech when you're for, like, messaging? What if there was, like, a third-party, like, extension you could get for text-to-speech for Twitch chat? <laughs> Somebody write this down. This is a million-dollar idea. Streaming in general forces you to distract yourself. Okay, we got the bottom row all completely done now. I just need to add a top to this one. I forgot to add a top to that. <laughs> but streaming in general like forces you to like lose and regain your attention. Because one, you're playing your game or you're commentating. You're typing or you're reading your chat room. So that's also why I don't necessarily, like, acknowledge every chat message because, like, as I said earlier, if I'm talking about, like, cooking and then you talk about gardening, it's, like, veering me off of my chain of thought. That's why I don't necessarily acknowledge every message if it's not related to what I'm already talking about. So don't take stuff too personally, chatters. Like, that's the main reason why. Because I feel like if I, like, read every message, it's gonna distract me too much. Okay, I need to touch up these brown stems that I missed. So I'm just gonna get paint from the cap. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I will like type Omega Lol when I'm texting as well. 
Only to my Twitch friends, mind you, so they understand what Omega Lol is. That, like, my phone will autocorrect Omega Lol. And I think it's so funny. Okay. We still have a lot of green left in our palette. So I think I'm gonna go and fill in some leaves. That way you can use up all the green before we move on. Because my hope is to get like all this paint dry. That way I can move it down under the desk. That way I don't get any paint on my clothes. Oh my god. I've been sitting in the same position for like 40 minutes. And my feet are killing me. Okay, I'm fine. I just needed to stretch them. I'm good. I'm good. We're nowhere close to done, guys. <laughs> That's so sad. Okay. You be careful not to smudge anything. The way this, like, music playlist is, like, organized, or this compilation, rather, it makes it seem like it's playing the same songs over and over again, but it's not. Because I know it's the Nintendo music, but it's playing songs from, like, similar worlds or levels. And it's throwing me off. Because I was going to play Animal Crossing music today, but then I wanted something a bit more, like, faster paced. So I know if I play like s slower music, it's gonna make me work slow. You know what I mean? Yeah, I definitely want to play some of the more retro like Mario games. Like, what game should we do after SM 3D World? Because I think I want to continue with the every game over I give subs run, and I think we'll just apply that to like any Mario game we play. But I definitely want to play, like, some of the more, like, modern Mario games. Like, I like the remakes. Where it still has, like, compatibility with the Switch. Because I can't game on my laptop because I need to be able to see my scenes. I think Super Mario Galaxy would be good. An all-star run? No. Oh my god. That, that would be hell. Like you said, I think I'm gonna do like All Star Off Stream. Or maybe on my alt account I can do that. I don't know. Any chatters know what my alt account is? Anybody know? If you don't know, you gotta guess what it is. <laughs> is it shallow if I only watch a creator because I think they're attractive? No, I think that's fine. Like, different creators have different appeals. You know what I mean? Like, being like. Attractive definitely helps. Um, I feel like it's fine. Like, as long as the content is still good, you know? Like, no judgment. You forgot? I think I've said my alt account name before. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. You guys can probably guess what it is. <laughs> I mean, the only, like, streams I do on it is to, like, do, like, tech checks and stuff. Like, I don't think I'd ever stream on my alt account, like, playing games, unless I really wanted to. <laughs> Peace in 18? No, that's not it. That's not it. <laughs> that w that's a good guess, though.
Because I thought about maybe like streaming on an Alticat more. Because the reason why I was considering it, because like if you stream all the time, it's going to ruin your like viewership in terms of like your average and stuff. And if your viewers see that you're live all the time, they're not necessarily going to tune into every stream. But then I also thought about it. I was like, when you're live all the time, what are you doing with your life? You know? Like, I love my streamers who are live for like eight hours a day. But also, like, people need to be like going out and doing things, you know? Not that I go out and do shit on the days where I don't stream. But I know if I did start streaming on an alt account, like, I would only be using that all the time. And I know that's not healthy for me. Because when I play games offline, I'm like, I'm like, oh, I should be, like, streaming it. But I'm like, nah, you should have things to enjoy yourself, you know? My dad was also telling me, he's like, oh, you should stream more, too. He's like, you should stream for, like, six hours, six days a week. I was like, dad, no, that's not... It's not how it works. Like, I don't have any simps. Like, I do have chatters who come into every stream. But I don't think the simps would, like, stay for, like, six hours every day. You know, that's that's crazy. Like, streaming for that many hours that often... Only well, really makes sense if you have like a decent side sized like viewer base. Like if you can guarantee like having like a hundred viewers show up on any stream you do, like guaranteed. I think it's reasonable to do that, like stream on an alt. But if you're trying to like build up your commentary style or build up like your stream or your channel in terms of viewership or numbers, streaming for less definitely helped me a lot. Because when I started streaming less, like, I was able to have, like, decent things to talk about, you know? Another row of leaves done. Chatters, who use third-party emotes. Are there any emotes that you want to suggest that I add? Because a lot of the ones that I add, I see in other channels, and I'm like, ooh, I want that. <laughs> so if you have any that you want to suggest, like, go for it. The only ones that I won't add will be emotes of, like, other streamers. Because I think it's cool. Like, I like some of, like, the XQC ones. But I feel like those are, like, a bit too niche. And I don't want people to use them as, like, bullying, almost. Play the 2D Sonic game? I've thought about it, and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> oh, you know, you know what I want to play? I want to play Shovel Knight. Because I feel like that'll be a game that'll, like, make me lose my mind. FAW? What does that look like? Let me actually say. Let's say! Oi, governor! Oh, I wanted to add the bruv. Okay, Pepe W. Oh. <laughs> I think- Is it the crying one? Why is it called Pepe W? <laughs> okay, it's Pepe W's added to chat. <laughs> I've never seen that one. I think it's funny. Cause like, I love 7TV, but there's some like, wild ass 7TV emotes. Like there are a lot of them that are like, straight up vulgar. 
And I'm like, let's not add those. Because, like, I want to add emotes that are fun. Like, I don't want to add ones that are, like, mean. Like, I think there's one where it's, like, Pepe with an L on their forehead. Which I think is funny. But I don't want to add the one, because I feel like people are going to be mean with that one. Well, did my camera freeze? I feel like it did, yeah? Moderators, what is going on? Okay, let me fix that. Oh, that's odd. I appreciate it, Issa. Okay, also rotated. Weird. Okay, I have to be careful not to show feet. <laughs> okay, she's back. She's back. Chatters, I'm wearing socks, so don't worry about it. <laughs> Skim. <laughs> yeah, see, see, see. There was um, an emote just like that scammed one, but it said simp on it. And I was thinking about it, and I was like, that could be funny. But I feel like that could be kind of bullying, you know what I mean? So I was like, I'm not going to add the simp one. Like, even if I think it's funny, I gotta like... Keep stuff like that in mind, you know? Okay, camera is back. We're saved. And I think it was only out for like a minute or two. I think it froze when I stopped painting here. So we're fine, we're fine. Chatters didn't miss much. It's gonna ruin my time lapse video though, Sag. If I was gonna make one, Lamau. Dude, I say Lamau way too much. It's actually kind of bad. You gonna do homework now? Okay, good. It is 1.30, so good luck with your homework, Issa. We'll see you later when you're done with your work, mind you. <laughs> you better not come back in five minutes. But we'll see you later. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Dude, I don't know what made the camera freeze. That hasn't yet to happen for the phone cam. Because, like, my battery's connected. Because the only thing I don't necessarily like about the phone cam is that it kills the battery and also it causes my phone to overheat. Like, anytime I finish stream, like, after the, I think the six-hour calligraphy stream we did back in April... Like, my phone was like a burning hot. It was bad. Otherwise, I think phone cam is fine. Okay, now that we're like actually painting stuff in, it's coming together nicely. P 
He chatters. Anybody know what time it is? Anybody know what time it is? Anybody? Anybody? We are... Yeah, it's out of time, baby. <laughs> we are about three hours in the stream. So you guys know what time it is. It is time to fulfill my contractual obligation. So, to avoid the ad break, you can subscribe for just $4.99, just $5 a month. Let's get the coffee today and get ad previewing all month long and super cool sub only emotes. You also get a channel point multiplier. So if you're saving up for a redemption, consider subscribing. You get a multiplier as well. Um, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch account, you get a free Amazon Prime sub every month. I know my primer is currently given out to Rainy Day Games. So yeah. Or if any Oilers want to give subs, now is the time. <laughs> getting, not getting. Anyway, we will see some of you guys in a few. During the ad break, get some water, get a snack if you need it. So There we go. I know I need to drink something. I got my strawberry milk here. The milk is purple now because it's been sitting for so long. I also have my unfinished breakfast sitting on my other dresser. And get back to it. No more time off task. I do work for Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I think these are fully dry now. Yes, okay. So since this bottom section is fully dry, I can start moving it down my table. See, I have two friends who work for Amazon, like the warehouses. One works in the warehouse. They said the job could be better. And then my other friend, their driver, they said their job's great. So <laughs> I, I have two varying levels of support. So TLDR, I'm not going to work for Amazon anytime soon. Yeah, like, I've had lots of friends, like, work for Amazon. Only two of them work there currently. And they've all had, like, good and bad things to say about it. As with, like, most any company, so... I don't know. I'm not gonna be applying anytime soon. I'm good. Like, incentive wages are cool and all, but, like, if the workplace is too demanding or not worth it, then... Getting that extra two bucks is not worth stressing myself out, you know? My sister, she works in a warehouse for a different company. So she just packages boxes all day. And she's really good at it, mind you. She likes it because she doesn't have to talk to anybody. <laughs> so I think I could do that. But it's just like an issue of like being on my feet all day. I don't think I could do. Because as some chatters know, um, I have difficulty standing at times. So I have been going to the doctor about it, though. So, they're trying to figure out what's wrong with me. Because my thing is weird. Because I still have, like, full strength at times. Chatters, don't tell me what's wrong with me. Because that'll freak me out. Anyway. Just a quick PSA before I give a little more detail. Like, uh, I think it has something to do with, like, my blood circulation. Like, sometimes I feel lightheaded, sometimes I can't stand. Like, it could be anemia. I don't know. I have to. I have to see more specialists, and it sucks. Cause like, when you schedule like visits with specialists, it's not an instant visit, right? 
like you have to wait till there's an appointment available and until when you see when you are available to go to the doctor. Uh, all this red tape. So it'll be a while till we figure out what's wrong. So I just have to make sure to be careful whenever I do go out. Like, not pass out. Because, like, I went grocery shopping, like, a few weeks ago. And, like, it was just, like, a short 30-minute trip to the store. And, like, I couldn't even fucking stand after walking around the store for, like, 15 minutes. It was bad. So it's, like, anybody who says, get a job, easy clap, it's not that. Some people can't do it. Like, there's a lot of people who are disabled that can't physically work right now. Like, I'm not saying I'm disabled, but I might be. I'm just undiagnosed. Anyway, that's the last thing I'll, I'll say about it. Because, <laughs> like, okay, the last thing I'll say about it. Okay, let's go in with some red now. I don't necessarily like talking about two personal things. Because I don't want people to think I'm, like, farming sympathy. Because the thing with, like, showcasing, like, your identity concerning, like, your queer identity or if you're disclosing if you're disabled or not. A lot of people see you as just that. Like, I don't want my whole personality to be that I'm gay. You know what I mean? So, I don't talk about stuff like that very often. But when I do, most people are respectful about it, so... Thank you, chatters. Okay, we're going in with red now. Because red takes the longest to dry. Yeah, thank you, Betty. I appreciate it. And just try not to, like, push myself too much. Because along with not being able to stand some days, sometimes I can't sit for too long. So anytime that, like, stream goes longer than, like, three hours, like, it's a struggle. Like, usually, like, I have to get up and stretch. But even some days where I'm doing, like, homework... Like, I can feel my fingers, like, going numb. And it's not fun. But, you know, the doc says not to push myself, so I'm trying to listen to my doc. I think a lot of the time, there's a lot of, like, invisible illness, meaning, like, even if someone is, like, visibly fine, you don't necessarily know, like, all the struggles or hardships they're going through. It could be, like, related to, like, mental health, but also, like, physical ability. Like, there are a lot of people who experience, like, chronic pain or illness. And they're essentially just masking all the time. To seem like they're okay, but they're not, you know? And I have a few friends who struggle with that. And I know I, myself, probably have a chronic illness that's just undiagnosed, so it's, like... I'm able to empathize with them a little bit. But it's still hard. Hey, let's talk about something else. <laughs> I hate fucking streams like this because it makes me ramble and it makes me think about shit, you know what I mean? That's why, like, I like the gameplay streams because it, like, gives me something to, like, look at and, like, talk about on screen, you know? Yeah, take it easy. <laughs> yeah. I was so excited for, not necessarily this dream today, but like just painting in general. Because I've been thinking about doing this background for like a while now. And I've been telling chat that I'm going to finally start painting. <laughs> but just thinking of what I want to do and like making the stencils and stuff was really fun. Like, I have a Cricut. That's what I used to print out the stencils. 
it's a pain in the ass to like whip out the cricket because it's fucking heavy. It's like 10 pounds. And I'm weak as shit, so I can't lift much. <laughs> so you gotta like lug out the cricket, plug everything in, and the cricket is fucking loud. It's like, uh, it's really loud. <laughs> it sounds like a shredder almost. But dude, the, it is crazy how nice it cuts. It is insane the accuracy it is. Like, I want to start using the cricket more. Because what I wanted to do was make, like, super elaborate, like, pa paper cuts and cut them by hand. But then I was also like, dude, I can just cut them with my cricket. Can I make this sound again? You gotta say please, Batty, and I'll do it. Say please. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, I do have the money with please. Okay. So. <laughs> it's so fucking cringe. But yeah, the cricket is so loud. It sounds like a shredder. It goes like. Bah! And then. It goes, like, it goes like this, like... <laughs> it's so... And, like, even when I have, like, my noise-canceling headphones on, I can still fucking hear it. And I'm like... It annoys the shit out of me. And I think the model we have... We got it on sale. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hi, Doc. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today. <laughs> um, working on my new stream background. Uh, yeah, we got the Cricut on sale about a year ago. And I only started, like, using using it recently. Like I said, it's a pain in the ass to log out and stuff and set up. Like, the program is pretty basic. Like, you essentially just upload your images and then it cuts it out. But I think the model we got is, like, five years old. Like, it's still functioning. Like, they haven't discontinued it or anything because they still sell it in the store. But, like, some of the newer models, dude, they're a lot quieter. Dude, I'm slattering paint all over this. You can't see it on cam, but there's little tiny red dots all over. That I'm gonna have to cover up later. Anyway, so Oilers. I am saving up for a new DSLR for our cam. And also, a new Cricut, I guess. Okay, I don't necessarily need a new Cricut. Because usually when it's cutting, I leave the room because it's so loud. <laughs> but with, like, machines and, like, appliances like a Cricut, they market it towards, like, middle-aged housewives who stay home and do, like... You watch what I say here. <laughs> who stay home and craft, right? And it's like, they market all these different accessories that you need to have. And like, I get it, that's marketing. But also, it just feels so exploitative. Because like, you don't need much. And like, also, the housewives who craft. Hot take, hot take here. A lot of them aren't like, artistic. Like, okay, what I mean by that is to me, someone who is artistic is able to, like, create their own designs and make it their own. But, like, the people who just, like, get some, like, empty water bottles and, like, something like this and they vinyl on, like, love on the cup. It's fucking cringe and basic. It's not fucking art. Like, it's not your idea. It's not original. It's not like you made the font. You just cricketed the word love and then plastered it on a cup. Like, all those little, like, middle-aged moms at your craft fair where all their products is just vinyl shirts and vinyl water bottles. Make good shit. Like, I've seen that literally done a million times. Like, I know it makes you feel artsy, but it's not, it's not good. It's not good art. <laughs> love will make a love. <laughs> but that, that's, like... If I see that at an art fair, I'm like, what are you doing here?
that's why for like any patterns that I make, like I designed the actual image. Like I drew this cherry. You want to see the sketch? I showed you the sketch earlier, but I'll show it again. Chatters. Where did I put my sketchbook? Right here. See, I drew this shit. See right there? I drew it. I made the design. I don't like yoinking people's designs. That's cringe. <clears throat> and it's like... Talking about the... The crafty moms at art fairs. They will charge like $15 for that water cup. And it's like, yes, I understand that you purchased that blank water cup for like $10, but $15 for a water cup with a vinyl love on it? Scam. Anyway, that's my hot take of the day. <laughs> Any middle-aged moms in chat who want to fight me? <laughs> In a video game, mind you. In a video game, not in the, not in real life. <clears throat> I remember I was showing. Um, friends pictures of my stencils and they were like why don't you sell them on Etsy that'd be pretty cool I was like yeah I could but my thing is as I said earlier I would like the dream is to make a coloring book and publish it that'd be really cool but selling like your uh, how do I say it like your raw images hi Katie Lee welcome to stream hope you're doing well today we are about a third of the way done. <laughs> but thank you. Aren't they cute? Little heart cherries. It's gonna go right here on my wall. And you know, Kitty, what I'm gonna do... See that little black dot in the corner? It's Velcro. So once I have, like, more backgrounds made, Chatters can swap out my background. For, like, all the different wallpapers that I've made. That's the plan. Hi, Kitty. Lee. <laughs> Um, <laughs> why, honey, why? <laughs> or make this your next, um, tramp stab tattoo, Katie. I expect, um, commission from my design. I'm gonna take a solid 20%. <laughs> um, as I was saying, like, I don't necessarily want to, like, sell, like, my raw pieces. Like, I've designed stencils. Like, I have a few other, like, plastic ones made that I could sell. But like, especially with stencil work, like a lot of people will use it in their own work and I don't want my like patterns or designed to be somewhere else that's not me, you know? You don't have one? Nah, I know, I know. <laughs> I wanted the chatters to get excited to think that you have one. <laughs> All the simps are dying right now. And like, especially with like coloring books as well. I want to like, make illustrations for one. I think it'd be cool. But, especially with like, simple like line arts like that. People are definitely gonna steal it. And just online, people steal like artwork all the time. Really cringe. Like, I can understand, like, taking inspiration from someone, but completely, like, ripping a design and saying it's your own is- it's bad. Chatters don't do that. If you do that, we're not friends anymore. So precise, thank you. See, you think that, but you guys can't see the pencil lines on camera. <laughs> like, so many of these are out of the lines. Like, this one right here. The line work is horrible. Like, I- like, I, it's lopsided. You know, it's fine, it's fine. We're still pushing through. Because, like, if this is going to be hanging on my wall, like, see on this camera? This is about how big it's going to be on screen. Like, it's not... Like, it's not too crazy big. That's the nice thing about having a small design for the wallpaper. Is that if I mess up, you guys won't be able to tell. 
he stole the Mona Lisa? Well, really, bet. Over right now. See, if you've stolen it, Kitty, why haven't you resold it and become a millionaire? That's my question. You talk a big game? Shame on you. I need to get more paint. Dude, I hate opening bottles. Because, like, half the time it splatters on your fingers. <clears throat> it didn't that time, but, like, it splattered on my paper plate. Dude, this looks so good. Okay, sorry. I had to, like, admire it for a minute. <laughs> this reminds me of, like, the cherry dresses. Like, remember when those were trending? Dude, I would dress more femme. Like, I want to wear skirts and dresses. But it's hard to get them if you can't try them on in person. Cause like my body type, I'm a, I range between a zero XL and then a one XL, and like I don't have like curves, you could say. So it's hard to find like stuff that fits me well on both my chest and my hips. Cause like I have like wide ass hips, mind you. I like how we look, so I'm not insecure about it. But it's just difficult to find clothing that fits properly. And, like, different, like, designers have, like, different cuts and fits. So even if I get, like, a 1XL, it might be too big if it's not, like, a slim fit. Annoying. You finished your homework? It's only been 20 minutes. No shot. You're lying right now. But congrats. Did your homework. Good job. Let me get some Drake's and chat for Issa. They did their homework. <laughs> yeah, more or less. Más o menos. It's better than nothing, you know. At least you got a head start on it. Thank you, Batty. <laughs> Batty understood the assignment. <laughs> yeah, I know for me, like, my classes, like, we have weekly assignments, so everything resets on Mondays. Usually Mondays is days where, like, I try and, like, review the assignments and, like, try and take notes. But today, I was like... I want to do art. Hi, Emmy. Okay. Question, chatters. For anybody who streams, 
I think Cutie Lee asked this the other day. But do you keep your lurkers list open? I know I technically do because it's part of my mod view, but I don't look at it. So I know it's not like an accurate representation of stream. Because like my thing is, you do not, yeah, I think it's, it's it's got pros and cons to it. Like, okay, remember when like Ninja released, um, is like had a stream guide and like one of his tips was like, keep your lurkers list open and say hi to everyone who comes into the stream, even if, if it's for like one second. And, like, I can understand why, like, that might have worked, like, maybe two, three years ago. But now, I know music chatter. I don't like being called out. Like, if I don't type in chat, like, that's fucking cringe. Like, I would immediately click off. Hi, Hacker. Welcome back to stream. Yeah, we've started painting. Like, we're about... Okay, I, th I said a third, but we're about, we're about a quarter of the way done. <laughs> but doesn't it look cute? It's coming along. Yeah, I agree. It feels so, like invasive almost like so chatters if you're lurking a, a big thing for me is i understand some people like lurking in streams but like i want to get to know like who's like watching the stream almost um especially when we're still small you know so if you're lurking if you could just say like hi every hour or something i think it'd be cool I'm not telling you guys to chat, mind you. <laughs> I'm just saying if you want to, like, be recognized. Like, just say hi occasionally. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Like, I don't... Uh, I don't know how to say it, but, like... I'm, like, happy if I have one person here. Because I was a zero view Randy for months. So, like, I'm happy if I have one person watching. I think... Like, I'd rather have good chatters than bad chatters, you know what I mean? So, if, like, if the people who are here are nice, then I'll be happy. Like, I'd be happier having, like, three people who are nice than, like, 20 assholes. You know? Okay, you know what earlier I said I feel like the songs are repeating? It's because we're on a different compilation video now. I forgot that some of the compilations I have in this playlist... Like, have repeat songs. So, that's why we're hearing this song again. <laughs> so, I think this one played like an hour ago. Sag. I got a new cup. I stole it from my mom. Because <laughs> she got it for um, Teacher Appreciation Week. But she didn't like it. So she's like, you want it? I was like, bet. And it's nice because like it's actually surprisingly what light. Because my other cup is really heavy. Where's this song from? Ono Supamara. Yeah, I like this one a lot, too. Because <clears throat> I think in the level it goes, like, hyper-tempo. Oh, it's like the opening world theme, isn't it? Am I gonna do shading and stuff? No shot. Um, I explained this earlier, but the reason why I'm not going to do Shading Hacker is, let's go to full cam real quick. So, when it's going to be, like, hanging on the wall, this is about how big it's going to be. So, if I added shading, you wouldn't be able to really see it, right? So, I'm not going to spend an extra two hours, like, developing and shading if you're not going to see it. So, I would... If it was for like a an eight and a half by eleven piece, maybe. But for wallpaper, no shot. Not worth. Literally not worth. Get back to work. Okay, we'll see you later, Issa. <sighs> like I could add like maybe like a white highlight. 
Oops, that, that one was wet. Oopsie. I think that might be fitting, but I think that'd be too small a detail to see from a distance. Because you can see the the leaves from a distance, but that's because it's the green against the white background. Like, I don't know if you'd be able to see, like, a white highlight on the red cherries. Ooh, this sounds nice. What is this? See, I'm getting tired now. I'm like, oh, it's Animal Crossing. Okay, I'm getting tired now. <laughs> I'm, like, actually starting to listen to the music. Because when I listen to music, like, I, don't, I use it for usually, like, white noise, so I don't, like, listen, listen to it. Like, I remember when The Weeknd's most recent album came out, Dawn FM. Like, I listened to it on repeat for literally, like, three weeks before, like, I actually sat down and listened to it. And I remember I just started crying. During one of the songs. Because, like, it finally, like, sunk in what the song was about, and I was like, damn. I think that's why I don't necessarily like a lot of, like, rap songs. Because a lot of rap is focused on, like, lyricism. Okay, there's no paint on it, thank god. So you have to actually, like, focus on what they're saying. Come on, open! Okay. Silly me thinking I could, I could get three of these done today. No shot. No way. I would love to paint murals. Because, um... One of my, um, acquaintances from high school, like, we never, like, really talked. But I follow them on Instagram. Like, they paint murals and shit. And that's what they do for a job. And it's fucking sick and cool, so they get to travel and paint murals. And I'm like, god damn. And that's so cool. Because not a lot of artists can, like, go professional and, like, make what they want to make. Yeah! I'm in a silly, goofy mood! Uh... See, this is why I don't stream for more than three hours, like... This is when I start, like, crashing. But for art streams, I can go for longer. So I'm not as engaged as a gaming stream. As much as a gaming stream would be. Yeah, chat, go get some water. Go get a snack if you need it. Let me get some water, too. I think it's so funny to see the contrast of me sitting in a dark-ass room painting and then the bright phone camera. I swear, it's brighter in my room than it appears on the camera. It's just like, I have manual white balance on, so I, I didn't adjust it. Because usually this time of day, it's a lot brighter in my room. So, because the way I have my ISO adjusted is so... Um, 
I have like brighter, like it's brighter when it's darker in my room. So that's why it's, the camera is showing up really dark. It's because like my phone has like the automatic white balance. That's why it seems brighter. See, I'm in art school, not film school. Because, like, I remember when we were doing, like, figure studying, like, we had, like, a mini lesson talk, mini lesson talking about, like, lighting and stuff. But I didn't get it. Because, <laughs> like, since my classes are online, you definitely feel a disconnect. So, like, I feel like I would have understand understood the lesson more if I was in person, like, actually getting to work with, like, studio lights. But I didn't. So I, I didn't understand anything. <clears throat> okay. Another row done. On to the next. <clears throat> I'm glad I went with the red, not the magenta. I feel like red stands out a lot more. You have to be careful because all of these are still wet. We are going to get this one done today. I'm not going to scam. I'm going to finish this. Stream ends when I'm done painting. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, my posture is gonna be all types of fucked up today. Because usually when I work, I usually work like right up against my desk. But I'm sitting about like six inches away. So I can't like touch the paper. This is why I don't like painting. Anyway, it's fine. I need to stop complaining. Get back to work. No more time off task. Hey, what's also nice about doing more like iconography? I, I cannot, iconographic work, there we go, is since it's not like fine detail, I don't necessarily need to be like, right up on my paper to see like line work. thinking about that as well when I was like baking the sketch with strawberries yes they grew do grow in like bundles but a lot of the time when you see like a cherry illustration you usually see it in pairs right
So I hopefully people will understand that it's cherries. I mean, if not, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's either strawberries or cherries, so it's still a fruit. So that is still being conveyed. So. All I want them to say is that they think it's cute. That is my goal. If people don't think it's cute, I'm gonna go cry. I messed up! It's fine, I fixed it, I fixed it, we're saved.
Oh yeah, also... I found my white duct tape. So... I can finally reattach my Pikachu to my chair. <laughs> I'm still on mute? No way. No shot, I'm muted. Oh! Oh, is it, do you mean like you have a tab open? Oh, uh... Is that what you mean? Like, no shot, I'm actually muted. If so, end me in a video game, please. <laughs> okay, I just need like a tad more red. I was goofing about having a tab open. Guys, don't do that for me. <laughs> like, only have the stream open if you want to watch. I've said it before, but anybody grinding for affiliate? And you tell your friends to have a tab open? I want you to think about that. Is that going to help you? Is that going to help develop your on-screen personality? If people are just having a tab open for you? Think about that hard. Because when I was um, streaming for those six months with no viewers, like, I didn't ask my friends to have a tab open. Because I understand it's a nice gesture. But, like, is that really going to help you? No, it's not. Yes, it's a number. But that's not going to help you grow long term. That's why, like, I don't... Mm, I don't, like, have a tab open for my friends. Like, I don't do that. Like, it, it's weird how that's, like, socially acceptable to me. Because if I have ten people, like, having a tab open for me, yes, I have ten viewers, let's go. But, like, are those people who are, like, actually watching or actually genuinely engaging? No. That's also why, like... <laughs> Two based, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um. That's also why, like... Mm. Like I said, I don't do it for people I know, because I think it's cringe. Like, is having one person have a towel open for you really gonna help? No, it's not. Like, I'm very critical of myself. When it comes to streaming in terms of like i know what streams will do well yeah i agree like i think it's different if you're like have the stream open but you're like actually listening to it but like the people who tell you to like okay the thing that i think is really cringe <laughs> is like because remember when like it was leaked by someone on Twitter that saying like, oh yeah, Twitch does count muted tab views. And like, I was thinking about it. And I was like, if the person has a tab open for you and the tab is muted, like, but what, what are you doing? <laughs> like, you're not, you're not a viewer. Like, to me, at that point, like, you're just a bot view. I know it's a controversial take that I have, but... Yes, it helps you number-wise, but it doesn't help you grow. I don't know. Yeah, I agree. It is a nice way to support. Like, it is. <laughs> I, d I don't mean to call people out. It it's just... Yeah, it is a hot take. Hi, Kiddily. <laughs> it is a hot take. But... Because, like, I think of... <laughs> That's it. No, it's not. No, it's not. Don't clip it. Don't clip it. But, dude, if I said that shit on TikTok, people would fucking burn me at a stake, let's be honest. Um, especially, like, streamer TikTok. I feel like people would, like, go off on me. But, I think it's because, I think it's because, like, I'm very much a viewer. So, it's not that I, like, what, what's, a, like, a good way of putting it? It's like, I'm not, 
Yes, I do have some weird takes. It's, it's because, like, I don't know. A lot of people are, like, so focused on, like, numbers and shit. But it's like, I try not to be. Because at its core, like, I should be streaming because it's fun. Like, I should be making content because it's fun. Like, yes, it's cool if numbers are good and, like, popping off. But... Because, like, if you think about it, if you think about it, like, all the people watching, like, the big streamers, like, nobody's having a tab open for them. You know? Because, like, all the people who are watching are people who genuinely enjoy the content. And, yes, it usually takes a while to get to that point, but... I'm just gonna stay quiet, Sag. Okay. <laughs> Damn. See, I- okay. I know I got some, like, hot takes at times. Yeah, exactly, Batty. Batty gets it. Lurking is not the same as a mute tab. Exactly. Like, lurking, to me, by definition, is if you're, like, not chatting, but you're listening. That, to me, is what lurking is. Like, what was the example I was gonna say earlier? was it fuck i can't remember what it was but dude i forgot what it was oh, okay when like people raid out and then the streamer says oh refresh your tab refresh the stream when you come in raiders like i get why they tell you to do it because it doesn't count as a view technically but it's just like, if I hear that, and that's like the first thing you say to like your raiders, I'm just like, ugh. Is like, if I got 10 people with a tab open, like muted, like it definitely bumps your ego, right? They're like, oh, I'm guaranteed to have this many people here and like watching. 
But if all those people stop doing that, then what do you have? Right? I don't know. That's why I tell my friends not to do it. Like, don't have a tab open for me. Like, just for my own, like, mentality. I think that's another reason why I don't have a lot of, like, streamers in my chat. I do have a few. Most of them are people I'm friend with, friends with. But, like, usually, just looking at profiles, a lot of my chatters are, like, not streamers. Which I like. Because usually those are the, the users who are going to keep coming back, typically. Because they're there to, like, actually engage with the content. Like, I- this take used to be different. But if you ever- you go into a chat and it's literally just, like, mods chatting. And, like, no, like, normal chatters. Like, I used to be like, oh, that's fine, that's fine. Because, like, the mods are keeping, like, the chat room moving. But also, like, I know, like, users are scared when they see, like, really active mods. Like, all the time. Because, like, not saying that I'm going to act up, mind you. Like, I'm, I think I'm a good chatter. But I know some chatters are, like, they'll behave when they see a mod, but then kind of, like, act up. When they see the mod stop chatting. Ooh, dude, that line was perfect. My god. Is it that hard to behave? Honestly, some chatters will like wild out whenever they don't see a mod. Like, there's been so many times where I'm in like rainy stream. I'm like, I usually be in her chat for like 45 minutes to an hour. So I have like, because her stream time is usually when I do like editing and stuff. So I can only like mod for a little bit. But literally, anytime I leave her chat room, Someone acts up, and it's like, come on, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know, most- you guys are all pretty good. You guys are all wholesome chatters. I think it's because, like, I usually nip stuff in the bud when I see it. Because I used to be, like... Um, what you call it? Pretty lean with, le lenient with stuff. <laughs> but. I think I'm a little bit firmer when I need to be now. Mainly because, like, if you don't establish boundaries early on, people will keep, like, crossing boundaries and stuff. <laughs> yeah, some people do troll a little bit, but it's like... I think there's a difference between, like, trolling and, like, a joke that's, like, just mean. Because when you think about jokes, right? You have to think about why is it funny, right? Prime example. Like, the... Okay. Let me clarify. No chatters have made any jokes like this. Okay, let me clarify. Um, Like, the cliche, woman make me a sandwich. Why is that funny? I want chatters. Think about it. Why is that funny? It's not funny. So it's like... Chatters, if you guys are thinking about a joke to type in chat, I want you to think before you click the enter button, okay? You need to think about, like, will this joke be received well? Without context, is this a good joke? 
And at its core, is it a joke? You know, like, as I said earlier, my, my sense of humor is very vulgar. Very, like, edgy and shit. But I turn it off for stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, because, like, I understand how, like, fatherless became a meme. Like, I get it. But, like, if you think at its core, like, it's essentially making fun of, like, someone's trauma. Which I think it's fine to, like, goof and gaff with friends. Because, like, you guys know you're joking. But, like, telling some rando on Twitter that you're fatherless, that's kind of, like, not okay. Because you don't necessarily know, like, someone else's traumas or triggers. So. Um. It may be... I can understand why it can be seen as, like, facetious if I, like, hold back my true sense of humor. But I feel like... It's- 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 it's in order to, like, protect myself, you know? In terms of, like, I'm not necessarily, like, mentally, like, capable to, like, handle, like, extreme criticism. That's why, like, I typically try and stay away from, like, social issues or, like, current topics. Cause, like, I feel like I, I'm equipped to, like, have arguments, but, like, not with dumb fucking shitheads online. Because it's like, I, I, everyone feels like they have to insert their own opinion into things where it's not necessarily wanted or warranted. So, I'm just not ready for it. <laughs> Talking about things that people don't want to hear, you guys know what time it is. Anybody know what time it is? Anybody, anybody know what time it is? <laughs> it's ad time, baby! So I have to fulfill my contractual obligation and run an ad break. You can avoid the ad break. Dude, we're four hours in this stream and we're... We probably got like another two hours to go on this. Anyway, so you can avoid the ad break. By subscribing for just four ninety nine, just five dollars, and you get ad previewing and super cool sub only emotes all month long. I'm I'm getting tired. Or if you have an Amazon Prime link it to your Twitch account, you get a free Prime sub every month. We will see some of you guys in a few. Good reminder: get a snack, get a water if you need it. It's been an hour, guys. Stretch too. There we go. <clears throat> oh, I did get paint on my desk. Okay, cool. We scratched it off. What happened, Issa? Oh. <clears throat> I don't know how text to speech works at all. Like, I don't use that function. Oh, yeah, you're right. Thank you, hacker. I appreciate it. There we go. Art cam is back. See, I was gonna start stream at 10. Or, like, 9.30. I think I started at 10.30. But... It took me a while to get everything set up. And like prep everything. Oh, Sag. I think it's time to reset, restart Issa. <laughs> I think I have a 7TV like reset Mario emote. I think I added. Did I? I feel like I did. Yeah, I did. It's right here. It's just reset in all caps. There it is. <laughs> Time to reset, guys!
See, like, I've added so many random emotes, I don't even know what I have. You've gotta have... Okay, no problem. I appreciate you lurking, Issa. Um... I'm, okay, I, I was gonna say a joke, but I'm not gonna say the joke. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll say it, I'll say it. <laughs> it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> it's an edge or what, okay? Nobody, nobody give me shit, it's a joke. But I was like, what stream would you really watch muted? <laughs> Guys, I love Amaranth. I watch her all the time. With sound on, mind you, with sound on. Hi, Vengeance. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. Aren't- isn't it late for you, homie? Like, isn't it, like, really freaking late? But hi, hope you're doing well today. Oh, we were talking about you earlier. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, like, really tired right now. But... Oh, it's only half past ten? Okay, that's not bad. Oh yeah, because you're EU, so... Anyway. We're, we were saying how... Because we're doing another tournament this month. And if you place top three, you get VIP for a month. And all the chatters don't like you. Because you're way too good. They were like, God damn, Vengeance is for sure gonna win. And I was like, probably. So... We are doing the tournament. Same time. 10 a.m. warm-ups actually starts at 11 on the last Sunday of this month. <clears throat> so I feel like all the chatters are going to go after you this time, Vengeance. So go all out. You don't hold back. Nobody said that. No, no, no. There, there's been other times. <laughs> But it's all in good fun. Like, nobody's actually upset. They're all just super jealous that we have, like, a cracked wannabe pro player in chat. Or not wannabe, I meant to say, like, potential pro player. Wannabe has a negative connotation. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we'll see. I... Do you think you can get second again, Hacker? Do you think you can get second again? Because I've been practicing. Okay, let me see. I've been practicing. I think I can get third. If I try my best. <laughs> also, since it's going to be no items... No, you're not hated. You're not despised. No, you're fine, hun. You're fine. Everyone is just like, oh my god, this guy is correct. See, what's gonna happen is everybody is going to practice all month long to, like, beat you, Vengeance. And then they're actually gonna beat you. And then, in actuality, them wanting to defeat you has made them better and stronger. It's everyone's comeback arc. Okay, let's start going in with green now, because these should be dry by now. <clears throat> no, no. This one is not for money. This tournament is not for money. It's just for VIP. And I think we're going to do the top three gets VIP as the new prize for every monthly tournament. So if people win, they're only going to get VIP for a month. And then they lose it and have to earn it again. That way you don't have VIP forever. I feel like that's fair. Oh yeah, you are right. Finals are coming up. Ha! Lamel. I don't have finals. I just have a final project due every month. Which sucks. I mean, it's fine. It's actually nice. It's usually like an art project. Uh, 
Um, what's involved with VIP? Um, you get a special badge, and then you're allowed to send links in chat. No, I don't have a command for it, but I could set one up. Um, so essentially, you 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 feel special in chat. It's kind of like how if you're in a chat room and you feel like special if you have a sub badge. If you have a VIP badge, you're just like super cool. Like, everyone's like, oh shit, we got a VIP in chat now. Be like, I know everyone is excited for summer, but I don't get a summer break. Because the way my classes are segmented is they're a month long, and the only breaks we get are like a week for winter, and then one week in summer. So we don't even get, like, a full two months of summer break. I mean, it's fine, because people tend to finish their degree program faster. But also, I'm like... I get jealous of seeing everyone going on trips and stuff. <sighs> yeah, I feel like this music is way too soft. It needs to be louder. There we go, I feel like that's... I mean, it's supposed to be soft. Yeah, 150 sucks. I mean, like, you can, like, chill and hold back if you want to. Like, nobody was genuinely upset. Like, nobody was mad. I think it's because it was the first event. Like, it's different if, like, people won by, like, stream sniping or, or like, just intentionally targeting people. I think that's not unfair. Like, I know it's fun to, like, target somebody to, like, get them back. But, like, honestly... <laughs> yeah. Um, like, if I have a red shell, like, I'll just throw it immediately. Like, I don't hold on to it to, like, wait to get first place, you know? Like, I think I play fair for the most part. It's just the people who, like, intentionally... Okay, I think... Like, placing bananas in the item box is fine. Like, it's still a dick move, but it's not as, like, evil as throwing fire behind you. So, chatters, if you throw fire behind you, I will not like you anymore. <laughs> and like I said, it's just an event for fun. Like, it's not often that I play with viewers, so... Yeah... I- okay. I've said this many times about fire specifically. But... Throwing, like, a shell behind you is fine. Because it's just one shell. It's a lot easier to dodge one shell than, like, ten fireballs. So that is why I shit on people who throw fire behind them. The only excusable time to throw fire behind you is if you are literally in first. Otherwise, don't freaking do it. <laughs> yeah, I hate the boomerangs as well. Because like, you can't even aim that well with them. Like, it'd be cool if it auto-targeted. Because, like, I do like how the boomerang comes back. Because, like, if you're trying to hit somebody, it can come back and, like, collide with somebody else. I like that. But it's just way too difficult to aim. Yeah, that was evil. I think it was... Okay, someone, like, robbed me of first place. I think... It might have been you, Hacker. <laughs> Cause somebody threw items behind them as they were crossing the finish line and I just got absolutely shit on. I mean, it's fine. That's how the game is. But.
See, I remember shit like that. I'm a person who never forgets. So if you screw me over somehow, I will remember for the rest of my life. TLDR chatters, give it your all, but play fair. Yeah, I agree. Bagging is an option. But, dude, you were so far ahead, like, literally every race. I was getting blue shells in, like, fucking fourth place on some races. It is insane. Because, like, I feel like with online matches... If we're able to stay in the front for a majority of the race, you're not getting screwed over by like everyone else's items in like the middle or the back. So it's very difficult to catch up if you're behind. And in like the center of the pack. So I think the strat is just just to stay in the front as much as you can. <laughs> what is not playing fair? Um like don't intentionally target people. Like, for example, if you're like you stop driving to like wait to hit somebody that's kind of cringe or okay the only time i think it's fine to do that is if you're like getting targeted by a blue shell i think that's fair um but like for example if i have like a green shell and i see that someone is behind me and i wait for them to pass me just so i can snipe them that that's that like you're like going out of your way to like hit somebody you know I feel like booze are fine. Like, I kind of like the idea of, like, stealing someone's items. Like, it feels good to, like, steal from somebody. But also, it's not fun to get stolen from, you know? <laughs> How much more homework you got, Issa? You did some of your worksheets? You got some reading done? How much more you got? booze take items from first place uh dude that's insane i didn't know that that makes it 10 times better dude i love the booze now <laughs> i didn't know they took from first place that's sick got half a chapter left let's go i'm sure you can crank that out today Issa. i thought it would just take items from randos Oh, it's 80% chance, but still, that's a pretty high percentage. That's pretty solid. I'll have to see how- okay. Honestly, I'm not in first or very often with online matches, so I wouldn't be able to test that out with online. But I'll see if that's how it is with computers.
She's like, I wish I could play, like, DMC music, which I know some people do. Because there is a way to, like, exclude the music source from the VOD. But I'm genuinely so scared that, like, the one time... ...that I play copyright music, I'm gonna get clapped for it. I've heard about the new trailer for Strikers, but I haven't watched it yet. I need to watch it later. I was like, I saw it announced on Twitter, and I was like, ooh. I need to watch it, but then I forgot. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna play it once it comes out. Oh, it's bad? Oh. Oh well. <laughs> I never played Strikers. Is it a remake? I feel like it's a remake, right? See, like, I like Nintendo, but I'm not a Nintendo head. Like, I'm not, like, into into Nintendo stuff. Because, like, my sister, like, she was super into, like, finding leaks and stuff. But... I've kind of grown out of it, I guess. Oh, just the character set is bad? Okay. So we got some hopes, then. My dreams are not completely crushed. Dude, okay, you know when you get tired, and you start, like, zoning out, and you start seeing double vision? That's what I'm feeling. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drink some water. See, I feel like I need to start playing with a card build. But I'm like, I like my bike build. I like it a lot, actually. So it's like, I don't want to change it just yet. Am I better than Edwin? Probably. I feel like the reason why, like, my hands crap a lot when I use handheld is because, like, the console itself is kind of heavy. So I usually have to, like, hold it in my lap or something. Need some coffee or something? I try not to drink caffeine. Because, like, one, I don't like the taste of coffee. And, like, energy drinks, like, mess me up. Like, they gave me the shakes. So I usually don't mess with those. I think it's because I didn't finish eating my breakfast. Dude, it is lunchtime for me. I'm gonna- I'm gonna get a snack. Actually. No, it's no problem. I know, like... <sighs> like, my stream is not the best time for everyone. Because I know for... United States people, it's like midday. So, bye! I appreciate hanging out with us today, Vengeance. It was nice chatting with you. We'll see you next time. Get some sleep. And... Okay, I'm eating off-screen because I don't want you guys to see me. <laughs> Dude, my rice is so cold. Bye, baddie. We'll see you next time. I appreciate hanging out with us today. Bye. Dude, all of my EU frogs are leaving me. <laughs> Get back to work. My dad was telling me, he was like, 
You should start streaming at like 8 a.m. That way you get more EU viewers because they're rich. And I'm like, sure. <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Because he was like, you should stream for, like, longer every day. He's like, then you get more viewers, right? I was like, not really. Because, like, if you do stream for longer, like, yes, people pop in. But having to be on for a long stream is difficult. Like, I like my stream length as of now. For, like, a normal stream, it goes for, like, three to three and a half hours, depending on what we do or play. And I think that's good. I've been thinking about if I want to add, like, another segment to stream. Because, like, I would like to do just chatting more. Like, I think reacts would be good. But it's hard to, like, think of a good video to react to. That, like, I haven't seen myself. Because since I watch a lot of Hassan, he wa he reacts to videos all day. That's why, like, some of the, like, you laugh, you lose, like, the unusual memes videos, like, I've seen, like, Ludwig react to. So it's like, I've, like, I've already seen the video, I've already know what the joke is. That's why, like, some videos don't make me laugh all the time. So I I've usually, like, seen it. I think making, like, video essay content would be interesting. Like, finding a topic and making, like, a presentation about it. I think that would be kind of cool. But that requires a decent amount of prep. So if I were to try that out... Because essentially for that type of content, you have to, like, make visuals... And, like, essentially, like, make a script. Like, you don't have to script out the whole spiel. But it's better if you, like, free write jokes. I think the leaves have to be the favorite thing that I'm painting on this. Because you can usually fill it in in like two strokes. Do I know my online score? I think it's like 6 or 7k. It's because I only play on stream, like I don't play offline as much. You can't be doing decent in mirror mode because it's 150. I know that mirror mode always throws me off. Like, especially on some courses where, like, I have the lines, like, fully memorized. It just feels weird to see it reversed, you know? So it could be because it's 150. You have 6k? Okay, so I think we have about the same amount. But it seems like you're ten times better than me, Sag. I think it's because you little zoomers have, like, just better instincts. Apparently, I'm Gen Z. Because I was born 1999. So I'm technically a zoomer myself. And I got upset thinking about that last night. I was like, god damn, I'm one of them. <laughs> I was like, I'm what I despise. I'm one of them. I 
I'm a boomer zoomer. Really? That's interesting. Because I feel like... The only, like, difficult computers that I've noticed is when you do hard mode. They just seem to know how to use their items better. It's the only real thing I've noticed. And in, like, the higher CCs, it, they do spawn more coins. So, players can go faster, quicker. Really? I thought, like, the computers were just randomly good or bad. Like, are some computers actually better than the other ones? That's wild. I've never noticed that.
Okay. Done with greens for now. I think I'm gonna do reds next. Because those take the longest to dry. The tournament gonna be, it's gonna be 150. Cause like I know even for myself, like 200 CC is kind of wild with online. Yeah, it's a lot of leaves and also a lot of cherries. All right, looking back, I should have made this pattern slightly bigger, but you know it's fine. It's fine where she's at. Bailing just yet. I think that's another thing that people don't necessarily realize. Like, I get annoyed when people will, like, shit on artists for, like, charging, like, a, sig a significant amount for, like, commissions. But it's like, people don't realize how much time actually goes into, like, making art. Because, like, you're paying for supplies. You're paying for like hourly, like labor. Because even though this piece is really simple, we've already spent four and a half hours on it. And a lot of like people who do commissions will like undervalue their work and like charge less because they don't want to face criticism. But charge what you feel is appropriate for your time and your skill. Because if someone wants your work, they should be willing to pay for it. Yeah, I agree. It comes- I, I think disrespect comes to lack of perspective. Like, I know there's been times in which that I've changed my opinion on things. And it's all been in times where, like, I gained perspective, right? And I also feel like... There's a reason behind everyone's choices or actions. That's why, like, in turn, I'm very critical of people. But I'm also very understanding. That's why, like, I'm not too, like, put off by, like, rude people. Whether it be, like, online. Whether it be, like, comments. Or, like, in a video. Because I'm like, this person is this way because either... Because they have their own life experiences, right? Unless they do, like, something illegal, then that's, like, bad. But if it's a, it's, if it's a behavior that they can change or correct, then I try to be understanding.
Okay, no problem. We'll see you in a bit, hacker. how many backgrounds I'm gonna make. So I think I want to have at least five to like start off with. Like it's probably gonna take me a while to like make five now that I think about it. Because I like the idea of like changing the background for every stream. But... Like, I could work on them, like, offline every day. But, like, the thing with, like, making art, like, I don't like taking stuff out and then putting it away. Like, whenever I work on a project, I usually will leave, like, all my supplies out. Like, not put them away. So maybe I can, like, just paint on the weekends? Maybe that's what I can do? That way you can have, like, a new background at least once every week? I think, I think that's what I'll do. But I, I won't stream everyone. Cause like, I don't want to spam my feed with painting streams. Like, I want them to be like, random. Now that I'm looking at the shape, like, on camera, it looks a little bit like apples. <laughs> like, they could be either strawberries, cherries, or apples. It massages your brain? Uh huh? It's <laughs> a weird analogy. <laughs> like in a good way or a bad way? 
His mirror mode fucks me up sometimes. Maybe it's giving you a headache. Okay, you know like those head massagers that go like this on your head? I've never liked those. To me, that's a bad touch. <laughs> like, even though it's supposed to be a massage, I don't like it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad, Sag. more we got. Oh my god, we have so much left. Jeez. Yeah, I know I said stream would end when we finish this, but I'm sure I can get this done today, but I think I'm gonna have to, like, take a break. But I think I'll go for maybe five and a half hours total. We have about one more hour on stream. I need to go like eat properly. And, like probably like get up and stretch. Oh, I'm so excited. Since it's finally starting to get warmer out now in the morning and like evening as well. I think I'm gonna start bike riding again. I feel like it'd be good for me. I'm gonna have my dad do like adjustments on my bike today. Because I haven't used it since, I think, October. I think I can handle bike riding because I'm usually just going to be, like, sitting the whole time. I think it's not as, like, physically extraneous as like walking is or jogging but i think i can handle like a little bit of biking every day Maybe another reason reason oh, why I'm feeling tired is this specific compilation is calm and chill music to fall asleep to. So I feel like that might might be contributing a little bit to the fatigue. But dude, wouldn't it be sick if I got this done today? I'm conflicted. I'm I'm conflicted.
you know what's cool? I haven't gotten any paint on my clothes or my chair. I'm doing pretty good so far. Does acrylic once it's on your once it's on your clothes, no shot is coming out. Okay, this song sounds scary. That was a little bit creepy. subscribe to the prime sub holy shit well, thank you rainy i appreciate the resub you're gonna get your name written at end of stream let's go honey i am so tired <laughs> but i hope you're doing well today rainy i really wanted to get this done but i don't think i'm going to sag but that's wild four months Let's see, January. Yeah, that's almost since I've hit affiliate. Congrats on four months. Let's go. It's crazy to think. Because I think I've been streaming since August.
Okay, I don't know why this didn't occur to me earlier, but it's a lot easier on my hands and my arms if I keep the palette close to my painting. Like before I had it here, right? So I had to like move my hand across the desk. But now it's so much easier. I, I do not, I haven't arted it in a while. <laughs> That's probably it. Because a lot of like things you don't necessarily think about until you actually do it, you know? Like, especially with art, there's like all types of like little tips and tricks you can do to make your workflow a little bit better. Okay. I think I could start painting stems now. Because, like, I don't want to paint up here yet because I know that my arm's going to drag across. I'm going to go ahead, rinse off her brush.
And while I'm getting my new color set up, you guys know what time it is. We are another hour into stream. So it is time for, you guessed it, another ad. <laughs> so you can avoid that ad break by subscribing for just $4.99. Just $5. Skip your coffee today and get ad free viewing all month long and super cool sub only emotes. Or you can subscribe with Amazon Prime. Just link your Amazon account to your Twitch account and get a free Prime sub every month. I also have to post my TikTok too because it's past two. So. We will see some of you guys in a few. Oh, I gotta put the time. There we go, okay. <sighs> I don't know about y'all, but for like TikToks, I usually have um, drafts keto. I feel like that's normal. I don't know. Oh, dude, fuck, the sound is on. <laughs> okay. Because, like, my TikTok posting schedule is um, a Mario Kart clip at 7.30 PST, and then an Animal Crossing clip at, like, 2 or 3 p.m., depending on what time I end the stream. Because, like, I know there's supposedly, like, good times to post, but also, I don't know, because, like, most of my followers are active at, like, 3 p.m. But if I post the video at 3 p.m., it doesn't do well. So in my opinion, I think it's better to post in the morning because that way it can like accure views throughout the day. Like that's just from what I've seen has worked for me. I think another big thing is um also since I post videos that are in two niches, i.e. Mario Kart and then Animal Crossing. A majority of my followers followed for Mario Kart. So they don't necessarily watch the Animal Crossing ones because it doesn't push that video to them. Which to me makes sense. <clears throat> That's why like a lot of TikTok accounts that are just like niche, where like literally all of their videos are them like frosting cookies and that's it and nothing else. Oh, excuse me, and nothing else. They do well because people follow for that niche and they keep watching videos that are in that niche. So that's why, like, the TikTok algorithm kind of punishes you indirectly if you try and post contact content that's different than what you usually do. That's why, like, if I ever have, like, an art account or, like, want to do art videos on TikTok, I'd have to make a different account. Like, I could stream art stuff. But for posting, I have to, like, make a different account. Otherwise, it'd kill my algo. And, like, I hate when people say that, ooh, my account is shadow banned. But, like, no, it's not. Like, the reason why people or your views aren't as high is because people follow for a specific niche or video type. And if you don't post that niche again, it's not going to push that video to them. So no, you're not shadow banned. It just means people aren't engaging as much with your new content. That's all it is. Or just make content that like normal movies will like. Like, when you make a new TikTok account, what are the videos they show you? Like, a lot of, like, normie humor. <laughs> like, stuff that, like, a lot of people will like. Like, it's not niche. Because I think I posted for, like, months. Or, like, not months, like, probably two months before the algorithm finally figured out that, like, I post Mario Kart clips. And then it kept pushing me to, like, the Mario Kart people. It's like, essentially, if you're using different tags all the time, the algorithm doesn't know who to push your video to. So if you use the same tags all the time, 
the algorithm will like learn which people will most likely like your videos. But it takes a while to get to that point. Because I know I myself, I'm a very like analytical person. So I enjoy like looking at stats and numbers and that type of thing. But I try not to see people differently for it. Because in my head, people who have like a decent amount of following or like active viewership and that type of thing, there's a reason why they have that, you know? Like, there has to be some aspect of talent for people to get where they are. That's why I hate the take. Where it's like, oh, you have viewership because of blank. Usually the take is, you have viewership because you are a woman, Lamau. Like, that's usually the take, but that's not it. Like, there's so many different creators. But there's a reason why so-and-so is your favorite, right? One second. Back. I forgot to finish my sister's sheets earlier. Oopsie. I mean, it's fine. I'll just get a pay cut this week. <laughs> Dude, I can feel my line work getting worse as we continue on. Race way Mario Kart? No shot. It's wild. <laughs> Honey, I'm painting right now. Also kind of rude. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll probably watch her later. Because I need to get this done. She didn't invite me, Sag. <laughs> it's fine. It's, she didn't invite me because she knew I'd win. She knows I'm secretly correct. I know I said I was going to finish this today, but I don't know. I want to finish this today. But getting hungry so
See, I feel like Cutely is gonna be the next, like, Mizkiv. <laughs> you know why? Because <laughs> she leeches off of everyone. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. I love Mizkiv. Dude, their Korea streams? Bruh. They're insane. I've been trying to, like, keep up with them. But since they're streaming Korea... Like, they usually stream from, like, 10, 10 p.m. PST to, like, 6 a.m. So it's, like, it's ruining my sleep schedule. <laughs> like, I've been trying to watch, like, their YouTube videos on it, which are pretty good. Because, like, especially with, like, IRL streams, I feel like you need to be there, you know, because you don't want to miss anything. Because usually the people will have to, like, unlist bots. One, because, like, background music. And, like, also with IRL, you don't necessarily know what's gonna happen. Like, it's not as a controlled environment as, like, your bedroom. Like also, it's like a security issue, too. Because you don't know who's gonna walk up to you. Like, I would like to do, like, IRL stuff. But I'm kind of scared, too. So can we say it's funny how Kitty Lee came in the chat to drama farm and then left? <laughs> oh, she's still here. Shit. <laughs> I'm trolling, I'm trolling. See how she's spamming hearts now? To like win me back over? Blow <laughs> out. Dude, a rainy day games Mario Kart stream has gotta go hard though. Like I have been waiting ages for her to play Mario Kart. Hi hacker, welcome back to stream. We're now painting on the stems. You know it's wild? You know it's crazy? This right here is the halfway mark. <sighs> I bet people like zooming through the VOD will see me gradually, like, start, like, sliding down my chair. Like, I know right now I'm basically laying in my chair. spent five hours so this is probably gonna be like an eight to nine hour job like I said I'm probably gonna end soon and like go eat and stuff and then I'll try and finish this that way it's ready for tomorrow and I'll if I finish it today I'll post it on Twitter so if you aren't already 
Exclamation Twitter and chat and go follow me there. Because, like, honestly, another thing, I usually don't wear headsets for this long. And I love these headsets. They're really comfortable. They have nice memory foam lining. But they are giving me a headache right now. And I am not feeling it. Because I'll have phases where, like, I like earbuds, and then I hate earbuds, and then I love headphones, and then I hate headphones. It's called having sensory issues. See, I feel like today would have been easier if I did use, like, the paint pens. But I always forget that since, like, the paint pens are, like, fabric-tipped, they do break easily in terms of, like, they tend to, like, get busted easily. So it's not really worth ruining all my paint pens. Because they were expensive. Have I ever collected anything? Yes. I used to be like really into like collecting rocks. Like geos and that type of thing. And then I kind of grew out of that. Oh, when I was little, I used to freaking love Little's Pet Shops. Because like the whole shtick with like Little's Pet Shops is that you have to collect them all, right? So every year for Christmas. We'd have to buy, like, every single Little's Pet Shop set they had. I mean, not all, everyone, but you know what I mean. And then... Right now, I don't collect anything. Mainly because, like, one, I don't necessarily have, like, money to spend on things that I don't necessarily need. But if I did ever collect anything again, I'd probably collect stuffed animals. Like the Sleeping Pikachu and the Sleeping Eevee plush I have. They had like other Pokemon too at the store I went to when we bought them. And like I wanted to buy them all. So I was like, ooh, I need them, I need them. But I held back. Ooh, another thing that I wanted to collect was like the Nendoroid figurines. Because when I was like really into Hayaku, I would like, I wanted a figurine so bad, but I told myself, if I buy one, I'm gonna buy them all. I do not need to be dropping $60 on a figurine right now. So I've just been like, gradually holding myself back. Because <laughs> like, collecting feels good when you're like, saving up for it and you like, want to buy it and you're like, anxious to buy it. But once you buy it, don't you feel kind of empty? When you're like, I have this thing now, it doesn't feel as good. Like, that excitement is gone now. And, like, just in general, I have, like, I have an addictive personality. Like, I don't drink, I don't smoke, anything. But just looking at, like, my behavioral patterns. Like... If I start collecting something, I will not be able to stop. Oh, nice. See, like, okay, what I want is, like, you know the stream setups where they have, like, a shelf behind them and has, like, little trinkets on it? I would love to have that and just, like, stuff it with plushies. Like, I've been seeing so many videos of, like, with the Squishmallows or Mallows. And, like, people making shelves for them. And I'm like, dude, that looks so fucking cute and cool. I want to do that. But also, I do not need to be dropping so much money on plushies right now. 
So whenever Megan becomes a millionaire, that's when she'll start collecting plushies again. Because, like, with plushies, I never, like, slept with them, even when I was little. I would just, like, keep them on a shelf. Because, once again, sensory issues. Like, I don't like different textures touching me sometimes. Use them as pillows. See, that's so cute, though. I would love that. Like, you know, like, the big-ass plushies? It's just so cute. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use up the rest of this brown, and then call it a day. And I'll just paint the rest offline. I need to take a break. Okay, if you think about it, people who stream, they stream for hours on end, right? For like five to ten hours. And like chatters will get mad when they like take a bathroom break. You know, like if you think about it, like a traditional workplace in America, you get a 10 minute every four hours and then a 30 minute for every like five hours you work. And it's like, how is that not a standard for streaming? Like, that's why, like, streaming is not good for, like, I guess emotional and physical health, because, like, it, it, it kind of penalizes you for taking a break. Like, people will, like, lose viewers when they take a bathroom break. And it's like, that's maybe, like, two, three minutes, right? That's, like, it needs to be, like, a way to make it healthier. Yeah, you know, 24-hour streams are whack. Like, the idea is fun and interesting, but, like, it's not usually good content. Because, like, imagine hanging out with your friends for 24 hours. Like, you can't do that. Like, you can't be happy and bubbly all the time, you know? Okay, well, my last few strokes of brown. I think this will be our last stem of the day. Dude, I really wanted to get this done today. I feel bad. I'll try and get it done offline, though. That way we can surprise chatters tomorrow. Okay, so brown is all done. Should we clean off the brush? Don't feel bad. Thank you. I appreciate it. I know. I just, like, you know when you think of a project and you're like, oh, I can get this done in this amount of time, and then you, you underestimate a lot? <laughs> like, I'm just like, damn. I know I can do better, but it's fine. I'm, like, taking my time because I want it to, like, look good. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, let's go to full cam so we can look at it from afar. Oh, dude, that looks so sick. Like, just on the table. Okay. Now let's be careful when we pick it up, because some pieces are still wet. Studio lighting. Okay. So carefully, we're gonna lift her up. Whoa, look at that. Holy shit, that looks fucking good. Damn. That's look gonna look so cute on the wall. Like, okay, let's let's get an idea of how it's gonna look. Go! 
Oh, look at that. Oh, that's so good. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. Sorry, it, it feels nice like seeing it actually on the wall. Sorry, I, I just need to look at it. That, that's so good. Dude, I love this idea so much. Like, I can't wait to get more done. Dude, look at that shit. Okay, enough floating, enough floating. So I will try- if we look at this, you can see I'm about like halfway done. Or like a little bit over halfway. So... Okay. We can actually leave this hanging up. There we go. You see? Fuck. See, like I velcroed it. Now it's stuck to the wall. Yeah, look at that. Even just like that little bit. That looks pretty sick. Okay, cause see like normal cam? It'll be like that. Right? Cause when, when it's on like game cam. So, oh, that's the wrong angle. Yeah, so we zoomed in, like, that's a bit too much, but... So, like, the whole point is to have, like, just the camera, or just, like, the corner. So it shows, like, a little bit of the wallpaper, and then the regular lights behind it. Dude, it looks so cute! Oh my god, I saw... I can't get over it, I can't get over it. Okay, so... Before we end, we did get a resub from Rainy. So we can go ahead and get our sub journal out. Um... If you are new to stream, we're not doing an Oculus today. I'm, I'm tired. We'll do it tomorrow. But if you're new to stream, if you subscribe, resubscribe, donate, cheer bits, you're going to get your name right in the end of stream. Oh, my elbow. <laughs> okay, I'm tired. I'm tired. Oh, cool. We'll, we'll, um, we will write your name as well, Hacker. I'll get the other journal, too. Thank you for redeeming that. Okay. Cool. I like writing names. It's fun. <clears throat> okay. I think I want to do red for you today, Hacker. I think we'll do red. To match the cherries. Isn't that cute? I appreciate everyone hanging out with me today, though. I know today was a longer one. And not as hype as the usual stream is, but I appreciate everyone who came in, who chatted, who said hi, who lurked. I know we didn't finish the wallpaper, but we got a decent amount done on stream today. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, hacker. Okay, let's go ahead and write Rainy's name. Friend of the show, Rainy Day Games. Ooh, we also get to break out the nice gel pens, too. I'm gonna use the glitter one. It's not gonna focus. Sag. Okay. Oh my god! We get to fill up another page today. Let's go. Oh, the 
color palette matches too, like the pinks and the purples. Oh my god. There we go. They're ready to games. It was a four month resub. Also, any chatters? If you subscribe, cheer bits, or use your channel points, I'll write your name right now. <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't fart. No, no shot. See, I do that quietly so you guys don't hear it. Or, I change my mic settings so it doesn't pick it up. Five head. Okay. So we had Randy D Games where you subscribe for four months. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a stream here. So, dude, I hate this camera angle. I hate it so much. Let's zoom out a little bit. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Sorry, my sister texted me. Why didn't you do my sheets? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, thank you to anybody who came in the stream today. I know today was like a, an odd stream, but some more chill, you know. We did some painting. I think it came along pretty nicely. This is gonna look fucking great when it's done. Um, so yeah, I will be live again tomorrow. 11 a.m. PS2 with Mario Kart. But if you want to see more of my offline stuff, go ahead and check out my Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok. They look like little eyes. Oh no, don't ruin it. Don't say that. No, it's gonna bug me now. <laughs> um, but I think... Yeah, I think we can raid out today. Because Rainy Day Games is live right now. She's playing Mario Kart. All of you little Zoomers love Mario Kart. So, we can go hang out. Yeah, we're raiding Rainy. Because we actually streamed late enough to actually raid Rainy. So you guys know the rules. Be nice to her. Rainy is a friend of stream, so if you're mean to Rainy, you'll get banned here. Um, if you are a sub, you can type in chat, peace I2 spin. Peace raid. I don't think we've ever raided Rainy. Because like I said, she, she, she usually streams in the evening. So if you are a sub, you can copy and paste Peace Raid. And if you're a non-sub, you can just type in Peace Raid. Um, I'll be in her chat for a little bit because I, like I said, I'm going to go eat lunch and stuff. So, once again, I appreciate anyone who came in to stream today. I really do. I know today was a bit more chill, but we'll do more chill streams like this occasionally. Nothing... This won't be a regular thing. Um, but yeah, back to normal streams this week starting tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Oh, I have to raid out to her. Oh, I'm out. <laughs>
<laughs> Imagine I end without raining. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'll see you guys in chat for a little bit. I'll be in her chat for a little bit. So. Hi, guys. Come on, let me raid. Let me raid. <laughs> Bye, guys.